Hello. Everybody. <laughs> are you... Uh... <laughs> are you ready for some, uh... Brain code today? Uh, I just wanted to start by saying... When I made this thumbnail, I thought it was pretty funny because the number seven kind of looks like Yuma's a hoge right now. Uh, is this actually episode uh, 77? <laughs> Which brings me to my next point. Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to the slideshow because I feel like, you know, this is a question on everybody's mind <laughs> because of the last stream. Uh, question can kick out. Uh, as demonstrated in my last stream. Uh, apparently I couldn't count <laughs> because I thought Desikyo was like the sixth person. No, he was the fifth. Um, and so like, you know, that's, that's just one piece of evidence to, uh, you know, go towards the theory that Ki might not be able to count. Um, well, turns out there's like two points of evidence to back up this theory. Uh, because last stream, I also made another boo-boo <laughs> when it comes to numbers. I said there would be three people dead this chapter. And I was like, oh, I wanted to use an image with uh, three people <laughs> who were dead. I looked at this again later and I was like, wait a second, there's four bodies there. So, <laughs> so you know, uh, maybe not doing the best. Um, so conclusion. <laughs> He can't count. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much, everyone, for uh, attending this uh, TED Talk. I'm sorry for letting you guys know that uh, apparently I just can't count. <laughs> uh, and not only am I Fubu Ki, <laughs> uh, thank you to everyone who was at the stream yesterday because, yes, yes, I am this man. <laughs> Clearly. I am this <laughs> man acting suspiciously because yes, me and, Z me and Zilch, we, we will be together forever. <laughs> we will we will forever be together. So yes, thank you, thank you everyone for um, you know being here. This is the key support group. Um, we're gathered here today to continue Rain Code. Unfortunately, you know I am in this uh, state of mind. <laughs> Cannot escape rain code, uh, but I'm looking forward to playing more of it today. <laughs> we're starting off with some different music uh, today because we're just in the game. <laughs> so, hi everybody, thank you for coming. Uh, we're gonna continue, I'm very excited. But, uh, something that I forgot to do last time, which we will start the stream off doing, is I did not actually look at their profiles last time when I said I would. <laughs> so we're going to just do that right now. Uh, let me just make sure my screen is ready so I can look at it. Hee <laughs> hee. But hello everybody. Thank you for being here. And uh, apologies that I cannot count. So let's go check out Desihiko's. <laughs> uh, what changed? Oh, it's the photo. <laughs> Ah, uh, I'll, I'll remember this forever. Thank you, Desuhiko. <laughs> I do want to say it's not important... Oh, it's important not to check the profiles too much as there is a glitch that shows a spoiler. So probably check the profile but uh, once, but never again for chapter two. Oh, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, so we'll check it. We'll check it now, but um, so I shouldn't check it again until maybe the end of the chapter. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's strange. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, uh, we're good right now, right? I don't have to. I don't have to be worried about it right now. But thank you, thank you for letting me know. That that kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, okay, so she's one seventy. That makes her twenty centimeters taller than Yuma. Um, blood type A, November thirty. She likes cameras, uh, and she dislikes information manipulation. Uh, she's an Etheria Academy student and has a talent for tailing suspects. 
Uh, she's a student at a theory academy, hungry for knowledge. She seeks out anything she wants to know with unwavering tenacity. Thanks to her cheerful demeanor and excellent communication skills, she's quick to get along with people she meets. Having a lifelong fascination with detectives, uh, she couldn't pass up an opportunity to talk with one uh, and shadow Yuma. Oh, I see. She was like, oh my god, a real life detective. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, stalk him. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, Aiko, who's the Komaru-looking girl, <laughs> I guess. Uh, height 165, blood type B, April 15, likes acting, dislikes fighting, talent is acting. Kurumi's friend and a member of the theater club at Etheria Academy who died six months ago. The peacekeepers declared she's committed suicide by jumping off the roof. Oh. It's best she doesn't check the profiles for chapter 2 until Alright, thank you very much. I will make sure that I don't do that then. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I suppose if anyone here missed the last stream and is watching now, um, don't know why you would be doing that. <laughs> but, uh, look! Yuma! Yuma looks so cute right now! Yeah! Um, so we're in this school right now, an old girls school, and we're about to go watch a play where absolutely nothing bad will happen, right, Kurumi? My new bestie? <laughs> um, so yeah, excited? Let's just go for it. Hee hee hee. Ooh, fancy. Ooh. What is this, like Barbie Princess of the Everyone's Rainbow? so busy, they <laughs> didn't even notice us coming in without permission. This is the stage rehearsal, after all. It's treated like the main performance itself. They leave the curtains open and allow people to watch. More students should show up to watch shortly. Wow, these are fancy... chairs. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm not used to this atmosphere. It makes me nervous. <laughs> Why are you getting nervous when you won't even be on stage? We're only here to find out the truth behind Aiko's death. Let's search carefully. Has anyone ever been, um, part of a play before? I've been part of a play, <laughs> uh, once. I believe I was in like primary school, which is elementary, I suppose. Um, and yeah, I played I played a minor role in a school play once. <laughs> um, and I don't know why I did it. I have like stage fright. I would I would say like I'm not comfortable performing like on stage. I'm terrible at public speaking and stuff like that. So I'm like, oh, why did I do it? <laughs> At least I, I remember I only had like a couple of lines through the whole play, so I'm like, sweet! <laughs> Not too bad. Wait, that's no way to talk to a master detective! Sorry, I'm starting to talk to you like any other friend. Oh, don't worry, we could be besties! It's alright, it helps me blend in. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna move Chu slightly up a bit. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna blend in and be besties! Huh? So it's alright to be friendlier? I'll go all out if you don't mind. Sure. Oh my god. <laughs> they're, they're, they're really adorable. I think Kurumi, again, has a really nice voice. It's very sweet. <sighs> I wish you were dead. I wish you'd die in a lake with your feet sticking out. Shinigami is so jealous. It's okay. It's not like I have a pact with her. <laughs> Yuma, all four of them are here together right now. Why is Yuma so tall in that chair? Maybe Yuma has like a normal upper body and shorter legs. <laughs> all four? What do you mean? The four members of the theater club that I think have something to do with Aiko's death. Okay, four members. But what if there were five? Because what if you're a suspect? Although probably not if she's like the one requesting it. <laughs> C 
See? They're on stage right now. Alright. I can count to four, guys. I can count to four. The two in costumes are the main leads this time. The blonde, high-class looking girl on the right is Kai. Karen? The impish looking one on the left is the other protagonist, Waruna. <laughs> Below the stage is the honor student, Yoshiko. Yoshiko. The one keeping a low profile in the windbreaker is Kurame. Huh. You think those four are suspicious? Why? I have my reasons. Look at Karen, the classy one. Her beauty is unbelievable for a high schooler. Okay, wait, so are these characters also um designed by someone else? Because I I feel like it's harder to tell in 3D, but they they look slightly different to everyone else. <laughs> I would say. Uh, okay, now is the time to check the profiles. It's safe to do so now, but after a certain point, you cannot. Okay, thank you very much. Should I, should I just go for it now then? Oh wow, hello everybody! Okay, you're sure I can look at these right now? <laughs> Um, hello, Yoshiko. Um, 168, blood type A, March 18. She likes teddy bears and dislikes syringes. Um, has a talent for sewing. A member of the theater club at Ethereum Academy. A beauty whose maturity makes it difficult to think of her as a high school student. She's popular with the theater club and is on par with Warina and Karen in terms of acting ability. Mild-mannered and quiet, she values the team more than the individual. War Waruna? Waruna. Uh, 166. Well, type B, August 7. Likes trendy makeup. Yeah, she's got that blue eyeshadow on. Uh, dislikes sympathy. <laughs> okay. Um, talent makeup. A member of the theater club at Ethereum Academy. She puts on the flashiest and trendiest makeup which further accents her aggressive personality. Although she intimidates everyone around her, she has no desire to overshadow anyone. She genuinely enjoys acting and being on stage, innately capable of playing any role. Okay, that's that's cool. I like her. <laughs> She's got fun hair. Like, uh, I kind of miss the wacky hairstyles of uh, Dr. Rapa, so she's, she's kind of got one going on. <laughs> Uh, Ku Kurane, uh, 170, uh, zero, oh, no, O-type blood, November 6, likes romance novels, dislikes electronic gadgets, uh, talent is memorizing the script, also a member of the theater club, she doesn't talk much and prefers to spend time alone because it's difficult for her to express emotions, no one really knows what she's thinking, but her acting skills place her among the best in the club, nice. I think she's... She's kind of gloomy looking. <laughs> and, uh, Miss Karen. <laughs> okay, 175, uh, blood type A, November 12. She likes being in the spotlight, just like storms. Oops, <laughs> that's not so good being in, uh, Kanai Ward then. Talent is dieting. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Uh, that's kind of weird. Anyway, a member of the theater club. She has long, beautiful hair and the elegant aura typical of a lady. She's enthusiastic about acting, possessing a stoic philosophy about it. However, because of that, she tends to be uncooperative and rarely interacts with the other students. Oh, it's, it's pronounced Karen, not Karen. <laughs> I have, a, I have a friend called Karen and I feel bad for her, like, does she, like, you know all the memes about Karens, I'm like, oh, Karen, <laughs> when, I, when we joke about Karens, I'm not talking about you, okay, Karen? <laughs> okay, Karen, 
I, I guess they they wanted it to be Karen so that people wouldn't say Karen. There's a roll on the R. Ka Karen. Ka Karen. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay. Wait. Let me let me hear her say it then. Look at Karen, the classy one. All right, Karen. Ka Karen. <laughs> Karen. Her beauty is unbelievable for a high schooler. I see. The moment Aiko was gone, she had no problem climbing to the top. She has a strong fervor for acting, and seems to have no interest in making friends with others. Wow. I suppose you could say she's the uncooperative type who only thinks about herself. She is the drama queen! <laughs> Her father has a lot of influence in real estate, so he applies lots of pressure, too. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so, you think that's why she took down Aiko to become the main lead? I hate to say it, but I think it's possible. Regina George. <laughs> yes. It's true that this Karen does have an extraordinary grace to her. Oh my god, Kuro Kuro. Just eating frozen grapes, feeling good. I have grapes in my freezer right now, too. <laughs> I was eating them the other day as well. Frozen grapes are pretty great, guys. <laughs> Try it sometime. But I think that dour look on her face reveals her inner thoughts. Am I really walking down the right path? Did I wind up somewhere I'm not meant to be? Okay, Yuma, where... <laughs> I'm like, you were, you was like, oh, that, that woman looks a little sad. Is she being abused? No. Is she, is, does she have troubles? Is she okay? Is she doing well mentally? <laughs> Yuma just has the instinct for this, actually. <laughs> He's like, girls are complicated. I can almost hear her thinking that. In some ways, she's a lot like me. If she ain't smiling, there's something wrong. <laughs> huh? How are you alike? You sure don't look classy yourself. I look adorable. I'll ignore that. The other lead, Waruna, is the kind that only does what she wants on her own terms. But she can play any role like she's a true genius. Who's the girl in the back talking to? <laughs> Oh, hello! <laughs> I'm just like captivated by the NPC in the background, just talking to nobody. <laughs> Alright. She's still rough around the edges, according to critics, but she doesn't seem to care about what others think of her. Why do you suspect her? She's the kind who doesn't hold back when it comes to getting what she wants and doesn't care what anyone thinks. As you can imagine, she's always butting heads with someone. Lorna would never admit defeat, ever. So you're telling me she's a girl boss? All right. <laughs> That's why everyone else is afraid of her. And she only talks to a few girls who follow her around. If someone with that kind of pushy personality got into an argument with Aiko... You're saying it's not out of character for her to take more drastic measures. Yes. Yeah, like murder. <laughs> it's like, whoa! That's quite an accusation. <laughs> it's a bit of a stretch, but considering how she did become one of the main leads, she could be considered suspicious. That's Yoshiko below the stage. She's an actress, but she's managing the stagehands as production assistant this time. She's kind of cute. Everyone is talking about how Karen will be the next big star. But within the theater club, Yoshiko is more popular by an overwhelming degree. Oh damn. There's drama! Drama in the drama club! <laughs> she prioritizes the team over the individual. She's a kind, mild-mannered honor student. The only reason the theater club is able to function is thanks to her leadership. And you think someone like her could have killed Aiko? 
<laughs> Shinigami does not care. I don't personally suspect her that much, but Aiko used to be the club's leader. After she died, Yoshiko picked up right where she left off. I believe she's the only one who could ever take over Aiko's role. So Yoshiko maybe felt Aiko had what she thought was rightfully hers. This Aiko sounds like a big deal. <laughs> I'm like, wow, she was so amazing. She could do everything. She can act. She can, like, manage the club. Everything. She is so good at what she does. My bestie. <laughs> Who's also my girlfriend. <laughs> like, is that the vibe we're getting from uh, Fruity Kurumi? <laughs> But would she resort to murder to change that? I don't want to believe she would. But I can't say it's impossible. Kurane, the one in the wings wearing the Windbreaker, manages the light since she wasn't chosen for a lead role. Hmm, I see. But when it comes to pure acting ability, she's one of the best. I guess you could say her acting method is distinct. Like, she's the only one who can do what she does. She's kind of gloomy. Or, it's more like no one really knows what she's thinking. She's often alone in class, too. Do you think she's also a suspect? She always aims for the lead role. Besides, who knows what she's thinking? Hmm, very quiet person. So you're saying maybe she actually despised Aiko and tried to take out her competition? She's like, and I'll do it again. <laughs> I'll kill them all! <laughs> maybe. It's why I consider her another suspect. I see. All right then. The main leads are Karin and Waruna. There's also Yoshiko, the group leader, and Kurane, the distinctive one. <laughs> uh, you know what? I I'm glad that they're not just saying, like, the cute one. <laughs> and in your eyes, Kurumi, you find them all suspicious? I'm sure they'd be mad if they heard me, but yes, I do. Though the four of them are rivals, they weren't particularly hostile to each other before. However, after Aiko passed away, they started fighting for the main role. Ooh. They all rarely speak to each other now. That's intense. It's true that it does seem suspicious. So, did you gather all that information yourself, Kurumi? To tell you the truth, I joined the theater club after Aiko's death in hopes of finding out what really happened. Oh, okay. So, I, I guess Kurumi doesn't really know these other girls then too well. Maybe like only for five to six months. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You're really determined, huh? I am. I won't give up until I discover the truth behind Aiko's death. She must have been devastated by the loss of her friend. But she still found a way to push herself forward. All this to find the truth. I see. Sometimes the truth can be a goal that helps you press onward. Then I need to do what I can to help her. I have to find the truth behind this case. <laughs> Look at Yuma's portrait with him smiling. He's <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> I'll do it! <laughs> On the other hand, some truths make you want to die when you discover them. Be quiet. Besides, even if that were the case, if I let the truth be buried like this, more bad things could happen. Hmm. That's why I'm going to help her find the truth. It's my duty as a detective. Will you stop confusing detectives with heroes? Regardless, I have nothing to do with this, so whatever. <laughs> it's like, I do not care, right? For someone who has nothing to do with it, you sure have some strong opinions. <laughs> hey, Kurumi! 
You came at the right time! Hello? We're short-handed right now. We could use some help in the wings. Oh, you're right. Like, damn, Yuba is taller sitting down <laughs> than Kurumi. Maybe she's got, like, a shorter upper body but longer legs. <laughs> you mind lending a hand? Huh? But I'm... Oh, don't mind me. I'll watch the stage from here. Yuba, are you just gonna not try to <laughs> hide your voice? Okay. <laughs> it's like, oh! Then I'll go help. Let's meet back here once I'm done. Who's the cutie? A classmate? It's like, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Where have you been hiding such a cute girl? Why don't you invite her to the theater club? <laughs> he was like, oh gosh. <laughs> uh... Right. <laughs> don't, don't recruit me, please. <laughs> Everyone agrees Yuma is cute. <laughs> I don't think I should read these. <laughs> so I'm just gonna like look away. <laughs> Wait, Poochie! Poochie mention. <laughs> Looks oh, hello. like it's about to begin. She said this would be just like the actual performance. I wonder what it's like. Hmm? Hello, everyone! Thank you for coming by after school when everything's so busy. Is Desuhiko stupid? Desuhiko? What <laughs> is he doing? Before the theater club starts their performance, there's something I want everyone to hear. It's my debut song! I've practiced so much for this big day! <laughs> Here it goes! Give me the spotlight! You got it already! Hey! Oh, <laughs> Do you like teacher? Uh, he's so dumb. Teacher, get off the stage! Now we'll begin a theory academy's theater club rehearsal performance. Why would you do that, Desuhiko? What if they see through your disguise? Why are you so stupid? <laughs> oh, come on, man. What's wrong with a little fun? A star always wants to stand on stage. You're kidding me. Even if your disguise is perfect, that was reckless of you. Oh, it's fine to be reckless and my disguise is perfect. Damn, I ruined my chance for an amazing debut. Anyway, the performance is about to start. I knew I would find you here, Natasha. Ooh. Oh! Look at the portraits! Oh yeah, they're very different looking. <laughs> Warina. And Natalie? I knew you would come, Anatoly. Oh, Anatoly. Ooh. Oh gosh, the different art style. <laughs> you have not changed at all in the past ten years. Nay, you have become even more beautiful. Wait, sorry, my game is stuttering? Are we alright? Are we good? <laughs> I can't tell. Okay, let me let me take a look at their dresses, cause very interesting designs. <laughs> you, however, have changed. Your face is scarred and you look stern. I've longed for the days we spent here together. Back then, the world shone bright in the colors of the rainbow. But now, the only world I see is colored with crimson, 
draped in the blood of my fallen comrades. Behold, even my own hands are stained red. Yet, you are still pure, unchanged from that day. You really believe I have not changed? In truth, I had no choice in the matter. But because I did change, I chose to remain as I once was. I see. These ten years twere long for us both indeed. Seems dramatic. <gasps> Ooh, sunflowers! I love Within sunflowers! The tall white walls, a clear fountain and colorful flowers decorated the garden. Ooh. This garden was the world to these two young girls. They held hands and ran through the sunflower field. They sang to the blue sky and wore white clover crowns they had given one another. That's cute. The sunset was ever golden. Even the rare rain glittered brightly. The world was perfect. Everything shone like the shimmer in a rainbow. At the very least, that was how it was within these walls. The two sisters, Anatoly and Natasha. Anatoly and Natasha, okay. Were princesses of a 300-year-old kingdom to the far west. Since birth, they had never gone beyond the castle walls. Their youths were spent together alone. Sisters by birth. They had a happy life together. But one day, their peace abruptly ended. Okay, I'm wondering if I need to pay attention to, like, the details of this play in case, like, a murder or something occurs and it's, like, supposed to, like, you know, mimic the events of the play. <laughs> kind of like what happened in Nagarapa 2, Chapter 3. A rebellion struck. The military took the castle and declared the start of a new nation. Oh my god, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying the chat right now. You guys are like, oh, Yuri. <laughs> and it's like, oh, wait, no, sisters. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh dear. Royal family members who resisted were executed and their corpses hung in the garden. Oh dear. The castle walls were destroyed, and the flowers trampled. Anatoly and Natasha escaped the castle at night thanks to their servants. But amidst the chaos, the two sisters were separated. Their hands brushed against each other. It would be the final time they ever touched. Oh no, they got separated! Natasha was hidden in a neighboring small nation. An ally of old, the princess was welcomed with the highest honor. However, Anatoly continued her journey of escape with the remaining members of the royal family. They traveled the frontier to avoid pursuers as they searched for a land of peace. As they continued down this path, their comrades fell one after another. Ten years have passed since. Mm. Oh, f 15 minutes in? Okay, hello. <laughs> Their performance is so intense in person, I can't take my eyes off the stage. <laughs> Sorry. It's just so cute. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Did they give him like extra eyelashes as well or something? Oh my god, Desuiko. Hello? Was that Yoshiko? Maybe she went to the restroom. I took up the sword for the first time after I left the castle. It was also the first time I killed. 
Have you ever witnessed a soldier's dying moments? As blood flows from open wounds, all you'll hear is a death rattle. Men speak proudly of honor and pride, but those vanish when you're on the battlefield! Over the span of ten years, Natasha was welcomed as the new head of state for a small neighboring nation. She knew full well that her lineage was being taken advantage of for the nation's development. Okay, Natasha... Natasha's the one that, uh... is played by Karin. <laughs> yes. Oh god, I need to, like, keep the names in my brain. <laughs> However... She had no choice but to allow this to happen. He, how would you rate their acting? Better than me. <laughs> Meanwhile, Anatoly traveled the land. She had grown to become a leader of the wandering warrior tribes in the region. Oh, damn. The sword she had mastered to survive had become the hope for many. Oh, the hope. <laughs> The fight to regain their homeland had begun for these two princesses. It all began when the former kingdom, now a military dictatorship, invaded the nation protecting Natasha. Oh. Natasha declared war, promising to regain control of her former castle. Oh my Seeing god! An opportunity. <laughs> Anatoly rallied the people of the land to mount an invasion. Wait one second. I've seen this painting before. I don't remember what the painting is named, uh, but <laughs> it's pretty funny to see those like photorealistic people <laughs> paintings uh, behind that. The clearly anime anime girl. <laughs> They rode for the kingdom. At first, Natasha was disadvantaged, but the balance shifted upon uniting with Anatoly's forces. The enemy commanders saw the forces surrounding the castle. They knew there was no way to escape and quickly surrendered. Yeah, we win! The war ended in a single day. And yet, People do not know of the ten years of strife these two girls endured. <laughs> this is what art used to look like back in the day. <laughs> you know what? I would I would go to a museum to see this. <laughs> I, I kind of love this art, actually. Oh my god, real people! The royal family was rebuilt. But the peace they had once known was not immediately restored. Natasha's forces desired control over the conquered kingdom. However, Anatoly's camp also sought control, having achieved many merits in battle. Though the two girls reached out to one another, their hands would never touch again. They were fated to strike each other down. No! Tragedy. 30 minutes in. Oh, hello. Someone else gonna come in from the bathroom? To fight, more blood will be spilled, weakening our nation. Hence why only one of us shall be queen and end this war. There is no path before us where we can walk hand in hand as we did back then. I know. I am prepared for what we must do. It's why I've waited here for you. Draw your sword. We shall now decide who is fit to become oh, queen. Oh, damn. Oh, but is she like shaking? Cause like, she's not, she doesn't actually want to fight. <laughs> wow, acting. Drop the facade, Natasha. For these past 10 years, you sat on the throne as a princess. I know you know not how to wield a sword. I refuse to stain my hands with your blood. I could never will myself to kill you. But at this rate, the nation will perish. 
Draw your sword, Anatoly! Only one of us is getting out of here alive. <laughs> Natasha. Oh, damn. I'm gonna see a sword fight. <laughs> No fighting. The girls are not fighting. <laughs> Whoa, who turned out the light? Well, I was asleep the whole time, so it was already dark anyway. <sighs> Her little, like, snot bubble has a happy face in it. <laughs> Is she talking in her sleep? That was weird. Wait. Why am I wasting time thinking about it? The lights are on again. Back to the show. Now, let us eat. No, oh, cake. <laughs> yes, allow me to pass the plate. Thank you, Anatoly. The two spent time together again for the first time in years. However, they could not run through the garden like they used to. Together, they carried the lives of tens of thousands on their shoulders. Ooh. What was expected of the girls was no longer a crown of flowers, but a real crown instead. If I could simply defer the throne to you, and end it all, I would have done so in the beginning. Let's, let's take a look at this image. What is going on here? <laughs> Putting her sh uh, hands on her shoulders like, it's okay, sister. <laughs> it's like, no, sister! <laughs> you, you cannot die! It's like, oh, no, sister, you cannot die! Oh, sister, oh, no, sister! <laughs> Man. A queen's crown would fit you better, Natasha. However, the war would not simply end there. How did it end up this way? What are we supposed to do? Can't we all just get along? <laughs> Natasha wept in anguish as Anatoly gently embraced her. How wonderful it would be if we could flee somewhere together. But both knew full well that could not be. After a long silence and much internal strife, Natasha rose. She knew this could not go on forever, for the nation and for themselves. She invoked her nation's ancient tradition. Uh, let's toast! <laughs> to happier beginnings! Woohoo! Let's join our forces, right? <laughs> no need to fight! A new queen would be chosen through a duel of cups and poison. Okay, never mind. <laughs> 45 minutes in. Let us end this, Anatoly. Natasha, what do you intend to do? I leave it for the heavens. To decide who will survive. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> On the day we were separated, I was given this poison by our family in order to commit suicide. Oh, that's lovely.
switch the glasses around until I cannot tell which one has the poison in it. Once you are finished, I will reorder the glasses as well. The poison for Cusco. The duel of poisoned cups. Very well. We shall ask God which of us deserves to survive. God. Though perhaps it will be the God of Death that answers. Shinigami's was like, what? Nah. <laughs> Finished. It is my turn then. So, you know, this being a family tradition, how much family survives? <laughs> I am ready. Okay. I feel like something bad's about to happen. I grant you the right to select a glass. I shall take the remaining one. Very well. Yeah, I'm also like, is this play only them two? You know what? They're both quite pretty. <laughs> These girls. Sure hope they don't both die, you know. <laughs> promise me. If you survive, promise you will bring peace to this kingdom. And be a bit more selfish in your personal life. That would balance things out, I think. I also have something to say, Anatoly. If you survive, Wear a dress fit for a queen, no matter how much you hate it. Well then, to the new queen. No! Cheers. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no 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 no. Uh oh. Huh? That was fast. Warren, huh? What is she? But Warina, are you all right? <laughs> Oh, what's wrong? Uh oh. <laughs> yep, I reacted the same way the first time I tasted wine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, uh oh. <laughs> That's not so good. <laughs> You guys, you guys like the taste of alcohol? <laughs> Cause I, I don't. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. You guys are like, damn, that's so relatable <laughs> when I drink wine. I too spit it out and collapse on the floor. <laughs> Not. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think this is real. Girls, get off the stage! <laughs> then, 
That's a real corpse on the stage? Tetsuhiko, this is where master detectives come in. We have to do something. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't deal with corpses. <laughs> He's like, I'm out of here, bro. Sorry. Huh? Dead people's faces terrify me. I can't handle looking at them. And the blood. What's with the blood? It's all way too horrifying. <laughs> I can't deal with gory stuff. You're joking, right? You're a master detective. But I'm not assigned to murders. I mainly handle undercover investigations and stuff like that. He's like, I don't want to look at dead people. Ah! <laughs> so, yeah, now I'll leave this to you. I grant you the right to investigate the crime scene, rookie. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like me. I, 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 I'll use my uh, disguise ability and try to lead the panicking students out of here. I'll leave the rest to you. Uh, everyone, stay calm. Let's all move into the hall in an orderly manner. <laughs> oh gosh! Ah! Oh, Karubi! Yuma, what do I do? This is awful. Stay calm, Karumi. The video is skipping around some scenes for me. Really? Oh, I don't know why. It's telling me I have excellent connection. I don't know what I can do about that. Oh no! I noticed I noticed in yesterday's stream as well, when I was re-watching the VOD, at certain points, it would like jump a second or two. And I'm like, oh no, why did it do that? It didn't do that in the previous streams i don't know why i'm so sorry if there's like missing seconds should i try reconnecting my uh computer i mean internet should we try that <laughs> no refresh on your end um okay give, give me like give me like a couple minutes i'm gonna i'm gonna you know just uh, unplug my internet and plug it back in and see if that helps any. Okay, are we back? Okay, from from this point on, if it happens again, uh, just let me know and I'll see if there's anything I can do to see if I can try stabilize the connection again. Uh, that's annoying! <laughs> uh, from this point, don't check out the profiles when you come across a new character. Oh! Okay, thank you very much. I'll be sure to do that. That wasn't an act just now, right? That's not in the script! Cotton really coughed up blood! She's really dead! Who could have thought a real murder would happen during a play? Oh god. That looks very, very gruesome. Obviously it's like, it was real poison or something. But it's like, she spit out so much blood. <laughs> First Aiko, and now Cotton? Is the school cursed? Oh god. I don't, I don't- okay, I'm gonna pause here. This is- this is very, very haunting. <laughs> oh god. Yuma, it's a murder case. But if the peacekeepers come, they'll just cover it up again. Please, I need your help. Please investigate this case, Yuma! Wow, what are the odds that the day you ask for my help, <laughs> Somebody dies, huh, Kurumi? Isn't that a little suspicious? Well, what are the chances? And you come here and you're telling me that all these other girls are suspicious? <laughs> a little bit of a coincidence, don't you think? You want me to do it? Uh, got it. You're just doing what she says again? Wow, if you want to get on the flat-chested Paco's good side that badly... 
Hey, you also want to peek at the crime scene for your own reasons. Mm, busted. Anyway, it'll be trouble when the peacekeepers arrive. Let's search the crime scene before they get here. Okie dokie. Hello, can I talk to you, Kurumi? Nope. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. No, go up the stairs. <laughs> no, go up the stairs! Ah! Alright. Alrighty. Um, I'm not sure if it will help, but can I tell you what I saw? Yes, please. During the performance, I was doing odd jobs in the wings. Aside from the theater club members, there wasn't anyone wandering about like an outsider. I mean, other than when Desuhiko jumped in right at the beginning of the play. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Hmm. Well, that's part of the investigation, right? You can't see everyone from the stage after all. Isn't that why he went up there? So he could memorize all the faces that were there? Ha 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 ha, no. <laughs> He's just an idiot. <laughs> right. I think he just wanted attention. But setting that aside, since she didn't see any outsiders, the only persons of interest are those within the theater club. I'll keep that in mind while taking a look around. I've done a few investigations already. I should be able to handle this now. Yet you were hopelessly reliant on yours truly until now. I see it's not your brain making the decisions anymore. Excuse me? <laughs> she got me. <laughs> <sighs> the eyes are wide open from agony. The body is completely motionless. He was just like, I can help people. Not just because they were girls, she got me. <laughs> Can immediately tell she's dead. Oh uh, well, yep. <laughs> that makes for a funny out of context screen. <laughs> Though she displayed many expressions while acting, her face is frozen in death in the end. <laughs> you well, you are such a poet! <laughs> this isn't an act. She was struck by an abrupt and unscripted death. Uh, um was it poison? That's most likely the case. There are no external injuries, and given the circumstances, she must have ingested poison. This will be tough to solve if that's the case. I know nothing about poison. Okay, okay, okay. Let me let me think about this. So Hmm. I'm wondering if uh, the culprit left it to, like, random chance. <laughs> like, maybe... Maybe the culprit didn't care <laughs> if this girl or Warna died. Like, either one of them would have been fine. Or if it was more targeted. Because... The cups were swapped by both of them. Um, I feel like, you know, there wasn't actually poison in the bottle. We saw a close up when she like poured the poison in. There was actually nothing in there. So I also feel like there's no way that the drink itself was poisoned beforehand because both cups were poured from the same bottle, so it's like because they both drank from it, if the if the drink itself was poisoned, then both of them would have had actual poisoned liquid. So I guess maybe the cup? Maybe maybe there was like one of the cups had poison in them beforehand? Perhaps? Because I'm just trying to work it out because the, the Warina girl didn't die as well. Okay. What? 
detective who doesn't know his poisons? Don't tell me you're a poison virgin! <laughs> okay. She's like, damn! <laughs> Didn't realize you were a poison virgin, damn. <laughs> I was like, what does that even mean? I would like to stay that way, actually. Ew, gross! Well, you perverted little detective. Get on your knees and apologize, and maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. How about something like, I'm sorry, I should know my place, I can't live without you, Shinigami! Let's just ignore her for now. <laughs> if she was murdered with poison while on stage, the poison must have been prepared somewhere else. I need to look for that while checking out anywhere else that seems suspicious. Hey, don't ignore me, jerk! Wait, are we gonna look like this when we go to the mystery labyrinth? Uh, there are no external injuries, and given the circumstances, it's likely she died from drinking the poison. The poison for K Karin. Karin's poison. <laughs> yep, it's a corpse. Alright. Like I always do, I inspect the body lost. Not only is Aiko gone, but now Karin too. Could this also be a fight for the lead role? So, those most suspicious are Karin's rivals. Yoshiko, Waruna, and Kurane. Is the culprit one of those three? Hmm. I need to find out if there was anything suspicious about them during the performance. Kurumi was in the wings the whole time, so perhaps she knows something about the others. Ooh, hello. Oh, wow, we get to look at their eyes a bit more closely. What is this? She's got like a... A flower? A flower in her eyes? <laughs> um... She has like... A... A clover? Looking... Looking eye or something? I don't really know. <laughs> or maybe it's a cross. Uh, that just looks like a circle. And she's got triangles! Okay, let's ask about Yoshiko first, why not? Before the incident occurred, do you know where Yoshiko was and what she was doing? I didn't see Yoshiko in the wings. She may have been watching from the audience. Oh, right. Speaking of which... I saw her come inside the theater at around, uh... Was it 15 minutes? During the performance, I noticed Yoshiko walking down the aisle. I thought she was coming back from the restroom. But I didn't see her take her seat. What if she wasn't part of the audience? Where could she have been? Yuma noticed Yoshiko walking down the aisle between the audience seating during the performance. Warana. Kurumi, did you notice anything suspicious about Warana while you were watching from the wings? Hmm. As far as I can tell, Warana was just her usual self. I wonder why they didn't make variants for Kurumi without her jacket on. They were like, no. <laughs> Can't be bothered. <laughs> She was listening to music right up to the start of the play. I think that's how she concentrates. Did she go near the glasses or bottle before the performance? I wasn't watching her the entire time, but if she did go near the set, I think I would have noticed. Hmm, I see. Warana was the closest to the victim. That's ample opportunity to commit the crime. But still... How did she add the poison? It couldn't have been during the performance, right? I'm surprised for this they're not showing like Yuma's face, like the camera angle, like when he's just thinking to himself, but oh well. Wait, now that I think about it, right after the lights went dark in that one scene, she went near the shelf to pick up a plate. 
Her back was toward the audience, so I couldn't see her hands. But she only had two or three seconds max. A plate? Was there a plate on the table? <laughs> I only remember seeing the two glasses. I can't remember a plate. <laughs> Could she have poured hidden poison in the glass in that time? Did she have any other opportunities after? The next time she touched the glasses was during the shuffling scene. But it was Cotton who moved the glasses and bottle. She also prepared the poison vial. And plus, after shuffling, Cotton was the one who chose the first glass. Given the situation, it'd be difficult for Warna to poison Cotton specifically. Warna was acting during the performance, of course. It would have been difficult for her to have purposely poisoned Karen. Uh, Kurane? What about Kurane? Did uh, she Kurane. seem strange before the incident occurred? Hmm. I haven't seen Kurane. She was working up above the whole time. Above? Oh, she was managing the lights then. There's a catwalk above to adjust the lights, and that's where Kurane was supposed to be. So I didn't see her in the wings. There's another girl handling the lights, so it would be helpful to speak to her. There's another girl handling- Okay, so the, so there's two people on top of the stage, I guess, where the lighting is, so they can, like, give eyewitness testimony and if they saw something happening from above. Uh, Kurene was a member of the lighting crew during the performance. And Karen, or Karen. Before the performance, did you notice anything off about Karen? Well, I think she was more on edge than usual. She yelled at underclassmen who were late in preparing for the show. She also paced around restlessly. That's not just today. She's been that way since Echo's death. Maybe the whole battle for the lead role had stressed her out. But since she was murdered after Echo, she should be considered another victim, right? If she knew someone was out to get her, then it's not strange for her to be mentally unstable. Karen was more tense than usual prior to the start of the performance. The ones fighting for the lead role are Yoshiko, Waruna, and Kurane. None of them seem particularly suspicious so far. I mean, you could say Yoshiko is the most suspicious at the moment for entering the theater 15 minutes in. Like, what were you up to? <laughs> but, I don't know. Are you gonna keep this up? I'm so over playing 20 questions with this ugly chick. That reminds me, the lights went dark during the performance, right? The entire hall was blacked out. Wouldn't it be possible for someone to sneak up on stage and place the poison then? Mmm, but then we would see them. Oh, I hadn't thought of that, but I don't think it's possible. Why not? The blackout lasted for only five seconds. We measure it each time to ensure there are no mistakes. So someone would have to move through the dark, get on stage, apply the poison, and get away, all in five seconds. Okay, probably not then. <laughs> that sounds impossible to me. If they were in a hurry, their footsteps would have been heard by everyone too. From the audience, it may be impossible, but what about from the wings? No, there were multiple club members, including me, in the wings at all times. While the lights are out, we are always on standby to support the actors. If someone went on stage, the other members and I would have noticed. I guess it's not possible then. <laughs> Even an amateur has more logic than you. I guess you're useless without a certain someone. Yeah. I am useless. <laughs> I need you, Shinigami. And she's like, oh, 
Really? No. Oh man. <laughs> uh, the stage went dark for five seconds during the performance. I see. Thank you very much. I'm just gonna keep my eye out in case there's like a... Oh, I can't go that way. I was gonna say in case there's like a gab or something around here. Because I think someone said there's one around the investigation this chapter, so I'm like, okay, keeping my eye out. <laughs> Am I allowed to go back she here? She mentioned that the catwalk for adjusting the lights is up above. Are those the stairs to reach them? Would you like to go check up there? Am I allowed to wait? <laughs> yeah, I would. Okay, well, I'm sure I can check the stage again later. <laughs> the spotlights for the stage are set over there. It's a lot narrower than I thought. It's pretty high up. Yeah, it'd be hard on anyone with the fear of heights. So you can move the lights as needed for the play. The table is directly below. What she means. Oh, are they gonna say, like, oh, maybe somebody dropped the poison in from above, but, like, there, there were two people up here, so if someone did do that, the other person would be like, I saw you do that. <laughs> you can't see the glasses getting shuffled from the audience seats, but they could have been visible from up here. I could find out for sure if I could talk to someone that was up here. Uh, there are multiple spotlights for the stage on the catwalk. The walkway itself is narrow and high enough that it's not easily accessible. You know what? Someone up here on the lights was like, <laughs> saw Desuhiko get on stage with the guitar and was like, you know what? Put a spotlight on him. <laughs> Alright. I guess we can't really go up here ourselves. We're done investigating here. Okay, thanks, Yuma. <laughs> He's like, we're done, okay? No need to no need to go back. He's like, okay, okay. <laughs> Do that one more time. We're done investigating here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's no point in going that way. Says you. What is here? I wanna know. Anything suspicious? <laughs> hmm. My place is among the gentry, so these don't suit my palate. Ooh, donuts. Uh, I don't think there's anything here. side okay if you say so no like hidden murder bottle of poison or anything here <laughs> uh, misplaced script there's a script on the floor that's a script of the play someone must have dropped it in all the chaos the script describes the duel of poisoned cup scene the character Natasha, played by Cotton, is supposed to take the wine and glasses from a shelf. After How that, big is the, the school? Are shuffled on stage. For real. According to the script, uh, Anatoly shuffles glasses. Note: Make sure the audience cannot see the glasses. Anatoly finished. Natasha, it is my turn then. Natasha also shuffles in a similar way. Natasha, I am ready. Anatoly and Natasha stand on opposite ends of the table, facing one another. After that, Karin takes the first glass, and they both drink at the same time. Unfortunately, Karin's glass turned out to actually be poisoned. Yes. So big. <laughs> Her face is so close, ah! Kurumi, I was wondering about this script. It says, make sure the audience cannot see the glasses. 
Why is that? For suspense, Numo. It's to make the result feel unpredictable to the audience. If the glasses are visible, no matter how fast they are shuffled, the audience can see which one has the poison. The script doesn't say anything about how many times to shuffle the glasses, or which one will have the poison in it. Exactly. There's no poison to begin with, so no matter which one's picked. Hmm. You just pick any glass and act out your death after drinking. Oh, I'm poisoned. <laughs> in the script, how's my acting, guys? <laughs> Oh, I saw I saw the internet had a little hiccup again. God damn it! Oh. <laughs> Should I switch which internet it's connected to? There's <laughs> not much I can do. Uh, in the script, Karen was to die. But I didn't think she'd actually die. I see. Since the instructions aren't precise. Both actresses don't know the results from shuffling either. Mm. Uh, during the scene with the shuffling of the glasses, the result was unpredictable even for the two on stage. Okay. So they're just saying like it's not a rehearsed amount of shuffles, so... You don't know, like, for sure which one is going to be which cup in the end. Okay. So, that's why, like, even if, um, the poison was in the cup prepared by someone, um, they wouldn't know who they were going to poison, which leads me to currently believe that, um... Karen or Warna could have died here. <laughs> All right, let's look at the bottle. There's a wine bottle on the table. Karen poured the liquid from this bottle and started to suffer after drinking it. Then that means there's a chance the poison was mixed into this bottle. This isn't wine in here, right? Of course not. <laughs> of course not. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just grape juice. I poured out the bottle and replaced what was inside. Huh? You, Kurumi? After class, I was asked to help out before I went to get you. I'm still a theater club member, after all. Were both the wine and grape juice sealed before you swapped them out? Wait, you did that today? <laughs> Are you telling me you didn't have the prop ready, like, ages ago? Yes. I received the unopened wine bottle from a club member. I uncorked the bottle and poured the wine down the sink. It's a waste, but we can't drink it anyway. After that, I went to the cafeteria and bought a can of grape juice. Of course, this was also unopened. The grape juice, oh my god! It was that panta that we saw in the advertisement. I poured the juice into the bottle, then put the cork back. I passed the bottle to a club member, and my job was done. Okay. Hmm. Again, I don't think the drink was poison because Warina didn't die. So, it was the cup. Somehow. That bottle was then placed with the glasses on the shelf before the performance. Or maybe, maybe it was like something where like both cups had poisoned liquid, but Warina was not given like something before the performance. Like maybe, maybe, um, maybe what's it called? <laughs> Karin ingested something beforehand. Like maybe she she ate something that would react to the stuff in the liquid. So when she drank the the grape juice with whatever, it like reacted to what was it already in her stomach, which poisoned her. So it's like harmless unless it like chemically reacted with something, which is maybe why Warna is fine. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I see. With so many people around, 
poison couldn't be added to the bottle after it was placed on stage. If poison was mixed in, it'd be before it was brought on stage. <laughs> it's allergies. <laughs> Grape juice was inside the wine bottle. Kurumi switched out the wine for juice. The bottle was then placed with the shelf. Oh, wait, with the glasses on the shelf. Poison. This file is supposed to have poison in it, according to the script. But it's empty now. It's dry and shows no signs of ever being wet. To be sure, the poison in this file wasn't real. And it was just another prop, right? Absolutely. It was always empty. The contents spill easily because of the loose lid. So we don't even keep colored water in it. Okay. Cotton just pretended to pour poison from the vial into the glass on stage. Then it's hard to imagine there being any poison inside it. Empty from the beginning. It is dry and shows no signs of ever being wet. Okay, interesting that this gloss doesn't have a have a little like looky looky option, <laughs> but this one does. There are two glasses on the table, the props used for the duel of poisons cups. Oh, I guess we'll just talk about the cups together then. <laughs> I think this glass was supposed to be stored upside down on the shelf in the back. Cotton was the victim, but she's also the one who set it on the table. Maybe poison was already applied to the glass beforehand. Hey, do you know who prepared these glasses? Oh, oh it was me. It's the girls on top duty. <laughs> oh, okay. The freshmen are handling them this time. Do you know where this glass was before it was placed on stage? Props are kept in the theater club storage. This glass should have been in there too. The theater club storage? In that case, any club member would have access. Um, was real poison applied to the glass? <laughs> you want to test it out for me, Kurumi? Ah, uh, no thanks. <laughs> I just thought it could be possible. But there's the risk of being caught by applying the poison after it was moved to the set. If poison was applied, it would have been before being brought to the set. But on days like this, when there's an open rehearsal, props are brought out of storage right after school. The glass should have stayed on that shelf the whole time. After school... Which means it'd be even harder to apply poison before then. Yes. At the very least, the props in the set were fully prepared at least one hour before the performance. Hmm... The glasses were placed upside down on the stage shelf at least one hour prior to the performance. Maybe that's all the investigating I can do. I didn't even look at the body! Yuma, wait! Oh, thank god. <laughs> no! Oh, wait, did I look at the body? <laughs> wait, did I look at the body already? <laughs> I completely forgot. Hmm. There are no external injuries, so given the circumstances, I'm sure she just avoid. Okay. Come on. <laughs> I completely forgot we already, we already did. Oopsies. <laughs> Okay, I did not see any gab... Gab stuff. Okay, is there anything behind this, uh, table? Nope. Okay, dokie. Well, I guess we're done here. Well, I think I've checked all that I can for now. I have a good idea of how things work around here. It seems certain Cotton died from drinking poison. But I couldn't find any clues that point to how it was done. Oh, stuck already, Mr. Pervert Detective? Stop talking about me like that. <laughs> if you need my adorable angel's whisper to help, maybe you should get on your knees and beg. No! What <laughs> angel? You're a death god. <sighs> I shouldn't even pay attention to her. But she's right, I'm stuck. What should I do? Clem, you're one to talk. <laughs> hey! Yuma, if you're done with the crime scene investigation, are you conducting the questioning next? Questioning? 
Aren't you going to talk to Yoshiko, Waruna, Kurene, and the others? Oh. Oh! Right! Let's go and talk to them. <laughs> She's such a loudmouth. But how do we talk to them? I doubt they'll be too willing to share anything with me. I joined the club only recently, so they don't trust me. And you're a complete outsider, Yuma. Even though you're disguised as a cute girl right now. Like, <laughs> oh, cute. Again. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That's it, a disguise. Maybe this could work if we use Desuhiko's disguise. Oh, oh. Wait, so we're gonna... We're gonna ask him to, to turn into other girls and like stand next to him and listen. <laughs> He could disguise as any of the girls and start questioning them. Yeah. Uh oh, hello. <laughs> uh, the peacekeepers? Aw, they're here already. That woman. She was the one with that Yomi guy. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, hello, Miss Swallow. I'm Amaterasu Peacekeepers Vice Director. The trusted right hand, showered with love by director Yomi himself. <laughs> oh my god. So, uh, wait, I gotta find it. Um, somebody in the, the patron server. Who was it? Fund. Yeah. Was like, sent a video that was like, an interview by a woman who is like, I'm his right hand arm man. <laughs> his his uh his colleague, his most trusted whatever, his silly rabbit. Does he call you that? No. <laughs> I am the Amaterasu Peacekeeper's vice director, his trusted right arm ha arm right hand arm man. <laughs> his silly his silly rabbit. <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> it is so her. <laughs> Martina Electra. <laughs> Swallow. <laughs> oh my god. Goodness me. You've surely done something reckless this time around. Oh, look at the red on all of us. Looks, looks like she found out you snuck into a girl's school. I think this deserves the death penalty, don't you? No. <laughs> um, there's a reason why I'm dressed this way. Like what? <laughs> what are you doing? Then make the arrest. Wait, I can explain. Huh? What? Uh oh. <laughs> oh no, our bestie. <laughs> you have no right to remain silent. You have no right to talk to a lawyer either. You only possess two rights: confess the truth and beg Amaterasu Corporation for mercy. Take her away. Um, please, wait! Are you sure you want to try and stop Amaterasu Peacekeeper Vice Director Martina? Wait, is Yomi here too? <laughs> or... or just you? <laughs> yeah, tell me, why are you taking Kurumi? To arrest her, naturally. On the suspicion of murdering Karen. Oh, oh. Huh? What? Why would I do that? We have reached this conclusion following an interrogation of a person of interest. According to them, you were responsible for handling the contents of the wine bottle prior to the start of the play. Uh oh, uh oh! It's clear you took the opportunity to pour poison inside it. It was only grape juice! I didn't add any poison! Besides, where would she even get poison from? Ms. Martina, this was discovered in the chemistry lab. <laughs> that is a huge bottle. <laughs> oh, it appears my deduction was correct. The poison was right under our noses. Why do we have this poison <laughs> in this school? For what purpose? Hmm. 
It seems to have been a particularly potent one. The label warns that even a small amount ingested can result in death. The bottle is unsealed and some of the liquid is missing. There's no mistake. <laughs> Why do we even have this bottle of poison? <laughs> you secretly stole this from the chemistry lab and used it for murder, didn't you? I don't know anything about it! That bottle is way too big to be stolen without anyone noticing. What a worthless comment. One could simply unseal it in the chemistry lab and put the substance in a smaller container to take wherever desired which could then be directly poured into the wine bottle. By the way, uh, this poison, uh, it's not harmful if we, like, inhale it, right? Because you kind of have it exposed right here, <laughs> right under your nose, and uh, if you breathe that, are you going to die on me? If you're going to pick a fight, you better have some logic backing you up. This is the last time I'll do this for you. Hmm, there's a warning on the bottle. This chemical will react to oxygen in open air, rendering it harmless 30 minutes after the bottle is unsealed. Be careful of powerful drugs. <laughs> okay, uh, chemical react to oxygen in open air, rendering it harmless 30 minutes after the bottle is unsealed. Oh, okay, so it's like, it's harmless right now. <laughs> wow, what a specific time window! How how handy! Huh? After 30 minutes, it becomes harmless? If you think that's important, go for broke and try pointing it out. I... I doubt I can do anything else right now. Kurumi, no! Don't let them take you! <laughs> Selfie with the bestie! About to get arrested! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Teehee, besties! <laughs> Let's go, bestie, to jail! Okay, I don't think there's anything I can do apart from, uh... <laughs> from saying like bye bye all right <laughs> um i'm curious about what's written on the bottle's warning label warning label this chemical will react to oxygen in open air rendering it harmless 30 minutes after the bottle is unsealed it has been 30 minutes since the murder occurred. If this chemical was unsealed at the time of the crime, it will have already lost its potency. Let us check. What? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my... Sheesh! She's like, whatever. I trust this label with my life. <laughs> Nothing. It seems likely that this poison was used as the murder weapon. I just love, um, swallowing poison. <laughs> Expired poison. A poison with special properties. <laughs> Which means the crime was possible only for someone at the school with access to the chemistry lab. <laughs> Imagine if she died right there. <laughs> However... This fact does not contradict her being the killer. Wait, no! I am well aware that many of Etheria Academy's students are children of those affiliated with Amaterasu Corporation. However, that cannot be used as an excuse to bend the truth. Criminals must be punished as criminals. You know, she's the first peace fever we've actually had to, like, have a proper conversation with, I feel. <laughs> Thanks, Martina! You're pretty cool! <laughs> actually letting us argue a little bit before arresting us. <laughs> <laughs> For that is justice. Now be gone. 
Any additional interference, and you'll be arrested as well. I mean, if she likes swallowing poison, that explains the dude from earlier. She's like, you're right, I love poisonous things, toxic people, you know. It's one and the same. <laughs> Take her away and dispose of the corpse on stage before it rots. That quick? <laughs> Corpses spoil so quickly due to the rain and humidity in this town. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know enough about, like, uh, decomposition to be, uh, like, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Why? There must be a mistake. It wasn't me. That's right. She's not the killer. Please, listen to me. I warned you not to interfere any further. She swapped out the contents of the bottle before the play began. Wait a second. She carrying a gun? <laughs> She's got a gun on her. Oh god. <laughs> you uh be careful she doesn't just shoot you. <laughs> and the incident occurred more than 30 minutes into the play. If the chemical used in the crime becomes harmless after 30 minutes, then it's impossible for her to be the culprit. I see. How logical and beautiful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there is beauty in being logical with all things, much like the golden ratio. Like gazing upon a flawless art piece, and the more delicate it appears. Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> she's drooling, getting a little crazy right now. She's like, oh, I love art. Oh. <laughs> I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, sheesh. The more excited I become envisioning the moment I pulverize it! Okay, never mind. <laughs> um. Uh, <laughs> Okie dokie, hello. Look at her sprite. Oh my god. <laughs> she She's like bordering the Ahego right now. <laughs> she's the Kamida of logic. She's like, ah. Uh, Logic! Uh. <laughs> we just said she was normal. <laughs> yeah. God forbid women do anything. <laughs> She's so crazy right now, like hee <laughs> hee. Huh? Logic is meaningless in the face of ultimate power! It is nothing but a glass ornament beneath an iron hammer! Uh, no. Oh! I, I'm so excited! Uh. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I kinda wanna. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. Mm. Just like vibing together. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I I love uh, when we destroy logic. It's great, <laughs> Martina. You're so relatable, girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh that was kind of fun though. <laughs> Okie dokie, girl. <laughs> you're kind of. <laughs> well, let's let's get a let's get a screenshot of that though. though. <laughs> Oh, she looks kind of normal here, though. <laughs> good, good for you, Martina. You know, she she knows what she's into. <laughs> Someone could just make a gif of uh her dancing around. <laughs> What's with her? I guess all the peacekeeper higher ups are perverts without exception. Now, my soft and fragile looking student, 
Your play acting as a detective is over. Play acting? <laughs> She's a worm. She's like the director Yomi. Would you love me if I if I were a worm? <laughs> He's like my dear, my dearly beloved right hand, you know worms have no hands. <laughs> She's like, oh no! <laughs> Are you telling me you wouldn't love me if I were a worm? <laughs> You'd be like, no. <laughs> it's like, ah! If you intend to continue interfering with our justice, then you will be pulverized. Uh, don't worry, Kurubi. <laughs> I'll be there. Hmm? Yuma? I've heard that name somewhere. Oh, she didn't even realize it was us. I see. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm glad Martina's here. So far, the the what's it called the peacekeepers right they just show up for one chapter and that's kind of it but she seems a little bit more important right being the right hand and everything so uh we're probably gonna see more of her which is great i watched more interactions with the peacekeepers <laughs> no never mind i don't know a little girl like you uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just a girl. <laughs> it's like, uh, phew, we weren't found out. Play acting as a detective. <laughs> Yuma depression. <laughs> She's right. What am I doing? I've mistaken detectives for superheroes. Justice is a matter of opinion. Aww. With enough conviction, anything can be considered justice. Look, look at that sprite! He's so sad right now! Why, why is that sprite, like, so cute, though? He's got, like, such big eyes and his, like, tears in his eyes and like, Oh no! Don't cry, baby girl! It's only an assumption. Completely worthless and completely powerless. Oh, uh, hi. <laughs> hey, I told you all students must wait on the lower level. Stop wandering around and go join the others. <sighs> no! <laughs> My little baby boy girl. Kurumi was taken away. What should I do? Do I just walk away as if nothing happened? No, you gotta save- you gotta save her! <laughs> you gotta save your baby girl! No, I can't do that. Kurumi believed in me. Your bestie! She said the detectives are heroes. I'm no hero, but I'm the only one who can save her right now. I can be a hero, baby. <laughs> Let's go! I have to do something. <laughs> The truth is still hidden. To discover the truth behind this case, and to find out who the real killer is... I need Desuhiko's help. I need his disguise ability to get information from the club members. Alright. Can I talk to you? No. Okay, can I look at the door? The theater hall is currently closed off by Vice Director Martina of the Peacekeepers. All students who are at the scene are to remain in the lower level. You are to stay there as well. Alrighty. Can I talk to any of these people? Oh, I can! Please wait! We've been directed to keep the students here until further notice. If you wander around, you'll look suspicious. So it's best to wait patiently and quietly. I see. I guess there are friendly peacekeepers too. I'm just doing my job. Oh no! Girl crying! Someone else died at school! Why is this happening? Could this be Aiko's curse? Hmm. 
the peacekeeper is like, there, there, girl, it's okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, I missed that line. Uh, I'm sure it's not a curse, but who could be responsible? Can I look at this statue again? This is... Wait a second! <laughs> Yuma, where'd, where'd your... <laughs> where'd your disguise go? <laughs> it's like, uh-oh! <laughs> oh, we found out! <laughs> What's the statue for? It's incredible. But... It doesn't matter. It's got nothing to do with the incident. His wig was snatched! <laughs> it's not like you to know that for sure. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the statue snatched his wig! Mm, anywhere else I can look at before I talk to Desiko? Another incident. Hey, what are you milling around here for? Get back on the ground! <laughs> you don't get down there, I'll take you in myself, these damn kids. Well, I can just get detective points yeah. for all these things again. There's lots of notices about blah 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 Okay, interesting. I think that's probably a mistake that Yuma doesn't have his uh disguise portrait. I think Warren is a bit susp She has what it takes to kill someone. It has to be her. You know. Does she have something against No data. Okay, I kind of noticed that there was... It was telling me no data for a bit. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> Does she have something against Warno? Oh, you're that cutie who was with Kurumi. Yeah, I am that cutie. What are you doing here? If you don't go underground, they'll be mad at you. It, yeah. I was called for questioning, but now I'm heading back. Let's go together. Oh, it's fine. I'll be right there, so go on ahead without me. Is he actually doing a, a female voice right now? It seems like he's trying to be a little bit higher pitched. Oh, it's fine. I'll be right there, so go on ahead without me. Yeah, I think it's slightly higher. <laughs> you sure? Well, I was curious. Are all the other theater club members also underground? Like Yoshiko, Waruna, and Kurone too? He's not? It's, it sounds slightly higher to me. Yeah, that's right. Yoshiko is feeling pretty shocked right now. She's in the rest area because she wants to be alone. Warina is with her usual friend group in the makeup room. As for Kurane, maybe she's in the staff room with the other club members. Ah, uh, got it. Thanks. She's that's a bougie school. You got like multiple rooms for one club. I'll be going now. Um, teacher? Um, teacher? <laughs> I'm sorry, my student is distressed, so please excuse us for a moment. You okay, Yuma? I'm fine, but Kurumi got caught by the peacekeepers. Oh no! Are you serious? What are you gonna do? Desuhiko, can you lend me a hand investigating this case? Don't tell me you want to keep investigating behind the peacekeepers' backs. I know it's reckless. The chief even told me not to, but this is something I have to do. You gotta save the woman you love, right? I totally get it. He's like, I totally ship you two. <laughs> like, we, we've known each other for a couple hours. <laughs> no, it's not like I love... It's it's not like I, I love her or anything, b b b baka My man. <laughs> My you man. I'd really help you out of sheer respect alone. 
But those bastards questioned me already, so uh, I can't move from this spot. <laughs> he was a boy, she was a girl. Can I make it any more obvious? <laughs> also, yeah, the like the the large arm, <laughs> like going over the shoulder and all the hair. It's kind of funny. Couldn't you make up an excuse to leave? Aren't you good at that? Yeah, I probably could, but I couldn't stay away for too long. Maybe I could slip out in disguise, but that'd put them on high alert and make the investigation tougher. Then what should I do? There's another solution. I'll disguise you, so you can keep on investigating. <laughs> hey guys! Uh, do you and your bro look like this? <laughs> I was like, a couple of bros here. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's kind of neat. You know, Desuhika's kind of like a, a, you know, pervert and stuff. But like, I feel like he, he doesn't um, make any like rude comments about disguising as like a woman or anything. So that's neat. <laughs> also, this looks like one of those like love heart and thumb memes <laughs> you know the hand we gotta draw like uh desuiko giving a love heart to some girl and then someone just doing a thumbs up for him <laughs> you want me to keep investigating in disguise this changer too i'll leave this to you but if this goes on for much longer we'll both be in trouble my disguises can't last forever Oh my god, the... the freaking... internet! <laughs> I keep looking at my YouTube thing and it keeps like jumping to no data for like a couple seconds and I hate it. Okay, give me... give me like... Okay, I'm gonna replay that line just in case. <laughs> it got cut off. But if this goes on for much longer, we'll both be in trouble. My disguises can't last forever. What? Really? It puts a huge strain on my body. I'm already starting to feel dizzy. You know, like, at least with, um... Desuhiko transforming into like an adult woman right now like it's so easy they could have been like hey Yuma check out my boobs and like done that like thing where like the the boy who has a female body just like starts grabbing their boobs or something and I'm gonna be like no <laughs> so I'm glad you know they didn't do that <laughs> are, are you okay not really but I gotta do this. It's all to save the love of your life. <laughs> I mean, this saying I love her is a bit extreme, but... I, I only just met her. Besides, I'm a master detective of the WDO. I've seen plenty of dangerous situations. So, who do you want to disguise as? Tell me. Oh my goodness, hello. Thank you so much for uh, subscribing. Ooh. Okay, who do you, who do you guys want to be first? I feel like um personally, maybe Warna. We've seen the most of her compared to the other two, so <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter who we go first anyway, so whatever. <laughs> Yoshiko? Just go in order. <laughs> it's like, which girly do you want to be first? Yay! Karane seems the most easy to trick people with. Oh, uh, okay. We'll, we'll try Karane the first then. I want to disguise as Karane. Can you do it? Karane. Uh. Hold on. I 
I'm reviewing my mental high school girl album right now. Okay. <laughs> oh, found her. She's the one everyone calls distinctive. I don't know how society sees her, but she's right on the border of my strike zone. Uh... <laughs> I bet he'd be happy with just about anyone. He'd probably enjoy getting hit by a dead ball if the pitcher was a girl. Again, if he's a teenager, that's fine. He's just horny, bro. <laughs> okay, let's start. Did a student collapse over there? Oh no! I have to get there quick! I'm sorry. I need to go rescue a student. Karani's favorite tunes. She recently got into a heavy metal choir. Oh my god! The Nun's music! And is looking forward to an upcoming death metal choir release. Oh my god! <laughs> a fan of the Nun! Comfy evil. <laughs> All right, that was perfect. I slipped a voice changer under your cloak, so be sure to use it. Oh, also, just a heads up, uh, uh, touching your own boobs won't feel good or anything. God damn it, Desuhiko, what did I just say? <laughs> I'm like, thank God, you know? <laughs> Desuhiko is not talking about, like, touching boobs or whatever. And now this happens, I... <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> uh, never mind, everything is bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna touch them. Oh, you must not gonna have the their faces as portraits. We'll see about that. Perverted detective. Guys, what the heck? <laughs> I'm heading back now. Get going. Kurini is often alone. I wonder if I can get any information from the others. Anyway, I better make sure I don't run into the real Kurine. Uh, Yoshiko is in the rest area, Waruna the makeup room, and Kurine the staff room, right? Okay, so I should not go into the staff room. A perverted cross-dressing detective appears. Okay, this is pretty fun. I... I think this mechanic or like this idea is pretty interesting. I oh, huh? <laughs> you're actually planning to go in there. My disappoint you is beyond mere disgust. No, I should probably stay out of the women's restroom. <laughs> I was just trying to see if like you could go inside. And again, why is there a male bathroom? Uh, uh I'm just gonna use the restroom. No, just like that. I know you're a perv, but sheesh! Yeah, there's no way I can go in here like this. Okay. Oh! Now that I think about it, there's probably a male bathroom because they have performances and the audience probably, there's some male attendees. Okay. That makes a bit more sense now. <laughs> can I talk to these people again? Oh, no, this is the same. Hmm. Um... The do you know detectives me? Roaming around. Yeah. Oh, no, not this. Hello. Oh, it's just the same thing. Okay, um... Hmm... Am I supposed to go this way? Hello? <laughs> what is it? You need something from me? The peacekeeper is just cold for me, so I can wait until later. Oh, can it wait mm. until later? I guess she doesn't want to talk. Where am I going? <laughs> How much longer is this going to take? I'm so hungry. I'm about to faint. If I knew this was going to happen, I would have had a meat bun before coming. Everyone loves meat buns. I 
can't believe something like this would happen in the middle of performance. I hope it's all solved quickly. But I don't even want to consider that Kurumi might be responsible. Yeah. Kurumi isn't the culprit. I just have to find evidence to prove it. Uh, what's over here? I want to go home! Huh? Kurene, is it okay for you to be walking around like this? You're involved with the case, aren't you? No. Well... Why are you trembling? You need to get that under control. I'll see you later, okay? Well, see ya. Why? Am I suspicious? <laughs> oh my god, there's so many things to look at! Uh, what's this? Makeup room. Okay, um... What's this? Staff room. Okay, that's where the real one is, so I can't go in there. After this, I don't know if I'll be able to go on stage again. I'm so scared. Oh my god, this is such a big area. Okay, hello. What are you doing here? Go away! Uh, hold on. I just wanted to... Just by being here, you're a nuisance. Don't you get that? Fine. Okay. <laughs> hates Kurume. Thanks. Kurumi was right. These two really don't get along. It's draining just pretending to be Kurune. I wonder if she's not affected by all this. Underground go storage. In the room. Why else are you even dressed up like that? Hello? Do you want something? I'm busy right now. She's so cold. She refuses to speak to Kurene. Okay. Even if I figure anything out, I'm not Water. telling you. Water gun prop. Um, I'm still in the middle of cleaning up. Can you not touch anything? Oh, s sorry. Is that like Junko's crown or something? <laughs> That's huge! Hello? Oh, hello, Kurene. Is something the matter? Oh, goddammit. <laughs> I'm seeing no Dada again. God damn you. Oh. Hello, Kurene. Is something the matter? Huh. She's actually willing to talk. Maybe she's on good terms with Kurene. Oh, great timing. I was investigating what just happened. You mean to practice for a role? You did say you wish to play a detective someday. That's amazing, Kurene. You truly are a thespian. Wow. Are we in Yuri's together? Right. So, there's something that's bothering me. W what is it? I just handle the costumes, but is there something you want to know about them? Maybe you think the actors on stage could have hidden poison in their costumes. No, sorry. That'd be impossible. Why do you say that? Because I reviewed both costumes in the wings right before the performance started. Buffering, no, no. Uh, should I? No, should I try to disconnect the internet again? Okay, hopefully we're back now. Oh, uh, I really wish my room was closer to my, like, Wi-Fi port and everything. I'm, like, in the furthest room from where our home Wi-Fi is. Ah. Uh, well, hopefully you'll be okay. <laughs> if they were carrying anything, I would have noticed then. Okay, so there's no poison, uh, hidden in their outfits. But what about after you checked? Like if they'd gone to the restroom, or somewhere else. 
then I would check again. Besides, both of them were in the wings the whole time. Oh, really? Though, they were performing the whole time, so I haven't checked their costumes since the play began. Well, if they were here the whole time, they couldn't go grab the poison. If that's the case, it would have been difficult for Warana or Cotton to bring poison on stage. The costumes were given a final check in the wings before the performance. It would have been impossible to hide something under them. By the way, Kurane, I still need to organize the costumes here. If you're free, could you help me out? It's hard to do it alone. It's like, <laughs> um, hey, Kurane, you know, do you want to help me? <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little busy right now, so I'll come back after I'm free. <laughs> Look at the sprite. I guess you don't want to talk to me. I'm sorry for bothering you while you're busy. I'll be waiting. Oh, this girl was kind of nice. I don't think there's anything else in here to look at. Oh my god, there's so much area to look at here. Hello? Yoshiko's admirer. Are you okay? The peacekeepers are so scary! I don't know what to do! I'm, I'm so worried! That's true. That's expected given the peacekeeper's involvement. Well, see ya! Uh, what's this? Oh, the restroom. Okay. Whisper, whisper. Hello? What? Oh, Kurane, it's you! Um... Oops, I didn't mean to scare you. I told you to keep your head down and stay away, didn't I? With everything going on, I'm getting worried! Yes. I'm sorry. Hello? What are you doing the here? The hall is currently closed off by Vice Director Martina of the Peacekeepers. All students who are at the scene are to remain in the lower level. You are to stay there as well. Okay, so I gotta go back the other way. What room is this again? Makeup room. Oh, wait, this is the room that uh, Warren is in? This is just another exit? She's gonna kick me out if I go in again. <laughs> Uh, where else can I go? Anything here? Mm, I don't see any gabs. <laughs> oh, hello. Um. Ah! No. Sorry if I scared you. I want to talk about what happened. <laughs> Yoshiko? <laughs> she won't even look at me. Maybe she's still in shock from the incident? Or does she treat Kurune like this all the time? Oh damn, wait one sec. I like her shoes. They got like the fur trim on them and everything. I like her shoes. <laughs> she looks very warm. Hey, Yoshiko. Can we talk? Absolutely not. I will not speak to you. I told you it'd be this way. Huh? As I've said before, I refuse to even look at you. Please, oh, damn. go away. She really hates Kurane. Is there a reason why? The girlies are fighting! I better leave for now. Okay. What else am I missing here? No, wait, I'm missing something over there. Um. Oh, th but isn't this the room where the real one is in? <laughs> I'm 
That was close. I almost ran okay. into Corinna. <laughs> but I need to check inside. I'll just wait for her to leave. <laughs> it's like... <gasps> <laughs> How do I wait for her to leave? Um... <laughs> Me when I walk into the wrong class. Mm. Maybe I can talk to this girl and she'll she'll help me or something. <laughs> Kurine, will you help me organize the costumes? Help organize the costumes. Oh <gasps> yes, okay. Wait. If I can use her to my advantage. Ah, <sighs> taking advantage of a high school girl. No. Uh, uh. <laughs> well, will you help me? I wanted to have a little chat with you, too. She's like, um, are you free later? <laughs> uh, I'm busy, so I'll come back when I'm free. Come get me from the staff room later. Oh, yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll help out later. So can you grab me from the staff room? Later? When? Count to 100 in your head. I'll be done with what I need to do by then. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll start counting now. Okay, I can count to four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> One, two, three. I better leave right now. Oh, well, that's cool. They gave her animations with her fingers to count. Okay, hello. <laughs> I counted to 100, Kurene. Huh? W what? What's going on? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Magically right, closing I doors. I'm going to the staff room while I can. All right, let's go. Wait, can I go back in here? Oh! Uh, I should probably stay away while I have this disguise on. All right, let's go! Success. <laughs> You're so oblivious, Master. And a creeper, too. Hello. Oh, Kearney. When did you get here? Wasn't I here the whole time? This reminds me. Thank you for what you did. Uh, for what again? You know, how you inspired me with the presentation on stage. Uh, uh, oh, for that one scene, right? You are such a good amnesiac. You have a knack for playing along with no memory. <laughs> yeah, the part with the overlapping spotlights after the glasses get shuffled. It expresses how the two characters' fates are intertwined. It was all thanks to you that we decided to go with this presentation. Karine, hmm. why don't you take over stage direction for our next performance? Y yeah, that might be a good idea. Just to confirm, I was the one who suggested the lighting presentation on the glasses? Yeah? What's wrong? No, I'm not. Oh, sorry, I skipped that line. <laughs> Yeah? What's wrong? You're acting kind of strange today. Okay, it was Kurine's idea to shine the spotlight on the wine glass after the shuffling scene. Sounds important, maybe? Hey, do you have a minute? Nope. <laughs> You can hear me, can't you? Nope. She's ignoring me. I guess she's not gonna talk. Whose locker is this? Yoshiko's locker. It's a club locker. Yoshiko's name tag is on it. It's got a little cat on it. Hey, that's not your locker, Kurune. Huh? Oh, you're right. We talked about it at an earlier meeting. You're not allowed to open lockers that aren't your own. 
People took makeup without permission, and fights broke out all the time. Please, follow the rules. Why did those two pieces of audio sound so different in quality? Please, follow the rules. People took makeup without permission, and fights broke out all the time. There's like a... a filter or something on top of this one. <laughs> this is sorry. What is that? Like, uh... Is that a cat? And a tinier cat? Or like a mouse? <laughs> on the Y. I can't... I can't see any closer. Cause there's like two silhouettes there. Oh, this is my locker. It's a club locker. Courtney's name tag is on it. It doesn't seem to be locked. This Courtney gal seems the type who'd booby trap her locker. <laughs> oh. Ow. <laughs> um. Medicine? Hmm? What's this? It looks like eye drops. There are so many of them though. Oh no, does she get dry eyes? Some for red eyes and for dry eyes. Is this something Kurene usually uses? Doesn't seem like there's anything else of interest. Hmm. Okay, I'm thinking, you know how they were saying like, um... What's it called? The poison could have been carried out in a smaller container. What if there's poison in one of these eye eye drop bottles? You know. What? Oh, how could this happen? Hello. Two theater club members are whispering to each other. They haven't noticed me. Maybe this Kurine disguise has made me less conspicuous. So, who do you think killed Cotton? It has to be Warana, right? Warana. Totally! It's gotta be her! She can never read the room, you know? Like, she doesn't see the other members as people. We're all just stepping stones to her. <gasps> she thinks she's the main protagonist or something. St uh, stepping stones. <laughs> she basically treats everyone like side characters. I know what you mean. She wouldn't think twice about killing people. They're talking about Warna behind her back. The theater club really is on edge all the time. But even if Warna was the culprit, how did she get cut in to drink the poison? Well, it's gotta be at that one part. <laughs> I knew you were gonna get... I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> As if I, like, listen, if I don't react to something that triggers a Kamaida memory, you guys will be like, I can't believe Key didn't mention Kamaida. <laughs> Part in the script where Warna gets closer to the shelf? Oh, right after the blackout. It's the scene where she gets the plate, right? She could have secretly snuck in some real poison and added it to the glass or wine bottle. That's it. Waruna is totally the culprit. The scene where Warner approaches the shelf, I guess it is pretty suspicious. Could she have added the poison then? In the upside down glass on the shelf? Oh no! Internet! Ah! I hope, I hope that people who watch the VOD just like skip, <laughs> like skip 10 seconds every time there's like an internet little hiccup. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Um, let me just replay that line in case it got chopped off. Could she have added the poison then? In the upside down glass on the shelf? 
Sorry, I had to disconnect the internet again. It was telling me the bait, uh, the bit rate or whatever was terrible. I'm like, God damn it. Oh, it's really distracting because I'm, I'm really like enjoying this case right now, but like this internet issue is uh, pissing me off. Uh, there is one scene in the story where Warren approached the shelf. Hmm? I guess there's not much else we can find in the staff room. We better leave before Kurine comes back. Oh no, I wanted to look at the uh, lockers. Oh good, I can. <laughs> wow, look at this one. Karin's locker. It's a club locker. Karin's name tag is on it. I probably shouldn't open the lockers of people I'm not disguised as. Oh, but I can never disguise as Karin. It's a club locker. Warren's name tag is on it. <laughs> it's like we we go around as Karin and people are like, ah! <sighs> I probably shouldn't open okay. the. Lo um, let us leave. That should be enough. Maybe that's all the investigating I can do. <sighs> End. What do you mean, end? I... I'm not done! I haven't even turned it to anybody else yet! I am so afraid right now. That's all the information I can gather while disguised as Kurine. Oh, thank god. <laughs> no date. <di> no data! <laughs> okay. I was really scared. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, end investigation? I'm not done yet. Oh, okay. They just mean for Kurine. Kurine seems a bit eccentric, but she doesn't draw a lot of attention to herself. I was able to get some information thanks to that. Kurine was focused on production this time. She was thinking about the light's presentation. The lights were managed properly during the play. It doesn't seem like she had a chance to use any poison. Oh, uh, just so you know, Yoshiko's locker has a bug that can only be fixed by reloading a save. Okay, I will I will make a save like right after this. But I feel like I'm missing something. There may be more clues if I disguise as another student. I should head back to Desuhika one more time. Um, teacher. Oh, what's wrong? You look pale. I'm sorry, but my student appears to be feeling rather anxious. How's the investigation going? Who do you want to disguise as next? Um, okay, let's go Yoshiko then. And then I will do a save. I want to disguise as Yoshiko. So, you want to be the star candidate of the theater club. She's known for being an honor student, right? So, you know all about her. Why do you think I wanted her on the school? Once I've seen the face, I never forget it. Just leave it to me. That's kind of scary. <laughs> Yoshiko's bag. The waste bag used in theater club belongs to Yoshiko. It's designed by a brand from outside Kanai Ward that Poochie also adores. Poochie mention. The bad All line? Right, that's perfect. <laughs> the bad line is coming up? <laughs> uh oh, fear. In fact, I totally bang you right now. If you're okay with that. <laughs> Oh, um, <laughs> with the thumbs up and everything, Desiko. Oh God. Hey, hold on. That's completely out of line. In fact, I totally bang you right now. I'm a superstar detective. Social norms don't apply to me. I refuse to hold myself back. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, no, you can save the fun for later. Go investigate. 
Yoshiko is supposedly well respected by everyone. I hope I can extract information. Did from I screenshot that? No, members. I did not. <laughs> but I better be careful and avoid the real Yoshiko. I think Yoshiko is in the rest area, and Waruna's the makeup room. Kurune should be in the staff room. <laughs> Quit trying to bang Yuma. Okay, let me do a save real quick. Ah, we can save right here. I don't think I we uh, I don't think we ever want to see Desi go in disguise again. Isn't the first um Raincoat DLC about Desihiko. <laughs> mm. Wait, am I allowed to leave this way? No, I'm not. Stop! The theater hall is currently off limits. You may not go to and from the school building. The other students are detained below ground level. You must go there and wait as well. Yeah, there's gonna be four uh, Raincoat DLCs. I think the first one is coming out, like, tomorrow, actually. The theater hall is currently closed off by Vice Director Martina of the Peacekeepers. All students who are at the scene are to remain in the lower level. You are to stay there as well. I'm going to assume you should complete the full game before you go to try DLC uh, content. Oh, I get to talk to everyone again! What is it? You need something from me? The peacekeeper just called me, uh, called for me, so I can I wait till later? I don't want to talk. Okay, this girl just says the same thing all the time. And this one also says the same thing. Alrighty. Do you have something different to say? Yoshiko, you're going... Uh, you're going around keeping everyone's spirit up? That's so like you! Uh... Uh, no, that's not quite right. Also, aren't I actually standing right there? <laughs> Isn't that actually me, uh, sitting right there across the hallway <laughs> right now? You're always so kind, but be careful not to push yourself too hard. Isn't that, uh... <laughs> Don't trust anyone, Aww. not even yourself. <laughs> it's like... Better not go that way! <laughs> Alright. I was watching the play just to kill time before the bus arrived. I can't believe I got caught up in all this. Tough luck, huh? I guess you must be thinking the same thing. Okay, let's go to the makeup room. We have some time alone for a bit. Yeah, Warna, um, no problem. About what happened. How could you show your face here after murdering Cotton? Uh. <laughs> huh? You're not supposed to be here. Listen, the peacekeepers are everywhere. So stay away from me, got it? Murderers should just. Wait! Who are you calling a murderer? Enough! I have nothing to say to you! Shut up and get out of here! Uh oh. Intense. I He's heard like, they were on bad terms, but maybe she's more on edge because of what happened? He's like, damn, girls are scary! On top of that, Warana thinks Yoshiko is the killer. Maybe there's a reason why she thinks that. I'll see you, Cordy. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, let's go in here. Which should I pick? Oh, I can speak to you. You managed it well. Huh? W what do you mean? You're getting good at playing dumb, too. <laughs> are you practicing for the peacekeepers? You really are the top actress after all. Damn. Are you talking about what just happened? You really want to say that so loudly? <laughs> Don't worry. I know how to keep a secret. She seems to believe Yoshiko is the culprit from the way she's talking. Uh-oh. <laughs> is there something about Yoshiko that makes her think that? Uh-oh, am I guilty? <laughs> Alright, wait, I can look at all the lockers again. It's a club locker. Kurani's name tag is on it. Uh, um... That isn't your locker, Yoshiko. Huh? Oh, you're right. Did you forget? We talked about this during the last meeting. Using someone else's makeup will lead to fights, so we aren't allowed to open other people. The situation is bad enough already, so please don't- okay. Right. Sorry. Oh man, she looks kind of depressed in her sprites. She's got that, um, sickly girl kind of look. Hello? Yoshiko! Why'd you leave me back there? I was so scared. Those peacekeepers kept harassing me. They're the worst. Um, you're... I watched from above the oh. whole time. I saw Cotton die. H hello? <laughs> Wait, you're the lighting staff? I thought the girl that was like, oh, thanks for the lighting thing was the lighting staff. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have nightmares about this. I'm so scared. Oh. Can we walk home together today? Please. She's... Are we Yuri's? <laughs> hey. If you were watching from above, does that mean you were with Kurane on the lights? I was. Why are you asking me this now? Then tell me, did Kurane do anything strange during the performance? Did she carry anything suspicious or do anything out of the ordinary? No. She was the same old unfriendly Kurane. She came to the catwalk before the performance and was there the whole time until the incident occurred. If she did anything out of the ordinary, I would have immediately noticed. Lighting requires perfect teamwork. Let girls kiss. <laughs> oh, wait, let's kiss girls. That's what you said. <laughs> Though, to be honest, it feels really suffocating to be around her. Oh, I wish you were on the lights instead, Yoshiko. We couldn't make out above the stage. I was like, whoa! Anyway, why do you ask? Oh, uh, no reason. So, Karine was just her usual self, huh? Yep. I never lie to you. Yoshiko has, like, kind of a... a sad, delicate... voice. There's a lot of, like, I don't know, melancholy to it. There was nothing unusual about the Kurene during the performance. She went up to the catwalk before the play and stayed there for the duration. Remember the duel of poisoned cups part? Where they shuffled the cups? Could you see that part from above? Hmm? Yes, of course! Although the audience couldn't, I could see their hands moving from above. As part of the lighting crew, that was my most important scene, so it would have been a problem if I couldn't. Most important? Yoshiko, you complimented me during the meeting about this, remember? She's, she's so needy. <laughs> she's like, Yoshiko, like, don't you, don't you approve of me? Praise me more. It's the scene where we shine the spotlight on the glasses after shuffling. This girl also has a very distinct uh, voice. <laughs> oh, right. That, uh, how is it supposed to go again? It's the presentation where we use two spotlights. Kurene puts a spotlight on one of the glasses first, then I immediately put another spotlight down. 
were you not watching? Were you not watching me? Yoshiko, no! <laughs> uh, I was! I just remembered. You did an excellent job with the lights. Oh, praise me more! It looks like she's punching her right now. <laughs> Take this! Wow! <laughs> you complimented me! I'm so excited! I doubt I'll sleep at all tonight. Girl, <laughs> calm down. Oh my god, look at <laughs> look at shitty Gami's tail right now. She's going crazy. <laughs> shitty Gami twerking right now. <laughs> May we finally have that sleepover? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this girl. This girl. Is there fan art of this girl <laughs> and Yushko? <laughs> There's something I need to do right now. Maybe another time. <laughs> Shinigami is speed twerking. <laughs> Updated. Uh, both members of the lighting crew could see how the glosses were being shuffled. <laughs> oh, it's my locker. It's a club locker. Yoshiko's name tag is on it. I should open it and search inside. You're opening a young girl's locker? What you're doing is totally psycho. It's for the investigation. Give me a break. Hello. Oh, she's got washi tape. And a cute pink umbrella. Yeah, whatever. I hope it doesn't turn into a hobby. Oh, wait. Is there a gloss in there? Oh! I got the bug. <laughs> I got the bug. It's stuck. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so I have to just reload, right? <laughs> What do I do? How do you, how do you, um, how do you fix that? 48. It's okay, I have to do the fruity Yuri again. <laughs> <laughs> how do I um how do I beat the bug? <laughs> I gotta do all that again. Ah oh, man. It's okay, we get to see the girl again. Our girly. <laughs> Our bestie. <laughs> okay, I think I should talk to you again though. He had unique dialogue. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, I kind of want to see what will happen if I walk in oh. here. Ah, Yoshiko is here. I should probably stay away while I have this disguise on. Girls are scary. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna save before I open the locker this time. Which should I pick? And hopefully this time it'll be okay. I'm gonna do the locker first, in case. 
it just messes it's up. It's a club locker. Yoshiko's name, I should open it and search inside. You're opening a young girl's locker? It's for the investigation. Give me a break. Yeah, whatever. I hope it doesn't turn into a hobby. The script and makeup items are neatly placed. Huh? There's a glass Yay! in the back. <laughs> it's the same kind that was used for the play. Woohoo! Okay. Um, there's a glass in the back. It's the same kind that was used for the play. What is this doing here? Suspicious. Well, what does the box say? Women's brand? <laughs> That seems like it was supposed to be like a temporary thing. Why is it just called women's brand? Uh, the same kind of glass that was used on stage is in Yoshiko's locker. What else is there? Okay, Yoshiko is highly suspicious right oh, now. There's a photo on the back of the door. It's a two-shot photo of Yoshiko and another girl wearing the school's uniform. Oh, wait. <laughs> So, is that, is that the Kumaru girl? Is that Aiko? Mm. Were they in Yuri's together? <laughs> All right. Who is she? <laughs> Who is she? Okay, this this photo clearly it has uh, a couple people ripped out of it. <laughs> this photo cut out is of Yoshiko and another girl wearing the same uniform. I cannot see her uniform. What are you even talking about? <laughs> you was like she's wearing the same uniform. We literally only see her head and her hand. <laughs> The 16th That's student. That's about it for the things of note in this locker. Sweet. All right. Hello, girl. She's like, uh, Yoshiko, so you're back. Oh my God, Yoshiko, I love you. Hey, did you see me, Yoshiko? Remember the duel of... Yeah, that was my most important part. Oh my God, bestie. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hey, do you have a moment? I want to talk about what happened. Um, Yoshiko? Hmm? What's wrong? I'm sorry. It's nothing. Excuse me. <sighs> She suddenly fell quiet. I guess I shouldn't question her anymore. Mm, okay, I see. So you're supposed to like just turn into the different girls because characters will only talk to one of them. She looked like she wanted to say something, but maybe it's something she can't say to Yoshiko. Maybe she'll talk if I'm disguised as someone else. I see. Okie dokie. I cannot look at Karin's it's locker. locker. Cotton's name tag is on it. I probably shouldn't open the lockers. Yep. Okay, hello, girls. I saw it was, but... Hey, it's Yoshiko. Uh... What's wrong? <laughs> we weren't accusing you or anything. Oh, it's nothing. We were accusing Warna. <laughs> What's going on? Is there something they don't want Yoshiko to hear? Okay, I think I'm done in this room. It's a club locker. Warana's name tag is on it. I probably shouldn't open the lockers if people I'm okay. not. There. Oh right, I can ask the people in here. Um, you were in charge of the costumes? 
You're acting like this is the first time we've met. Do you not remember me? Well, people call me the ghost member all the time. She's like, you're not Kurane. <laughs> I'm here every day, but no one notices me. Well, at least I'm not as bad as Kurane. You don't actually have to check the lockers of the girls you want disguised as. Oh, okay, thank you. But she stands out a lot when she's on stage. Could it be she acts a certain way so she doesn't stand out on purpose? What do you think, Yoshiko? Uh, uh I'm not so sure. <sighs> she's quiet. Maybe she's not on good terms with Yoshiko. She's like, uh, you, you don't remember me? Okay. That's fine, I guess. <laughs> it, it's fine that we're not we're not friends. I I have uh Kurene, you know? She she's like my buddy. <laughs> she's the one I'm Yuri's with. <laughs> oh, what should I do? I'm gonna get yelled at. What's wrong? Oh, Yoshiko! I'm so glad you're here! Is there a problem? Yes, well, we're missing a prop glass. <laughs> Whistles. Oh, where could, where could that be, huh? A glass? You mean for the stage? Yes, you're the one who prepared it for our play today. Oh, um, did I do that? Huh? Did you forget? We originally planned to use wine glasses, but their thin stems break so easily. So last time you bought four others, including the backups. Uh, oh, right. Two backups were on the prop shelf, but there's only one of them now. Uh oh. oh you must should not be an gone. actor. <laughs> Could the glass in Yoshiko's locker be the missing one? Speaking of, I want to ask if you're the one who set the glasses up on the stage. Yes, I was. Did you notice anything strange with the glasses at the time? No, they were spotless. We can't let anything happen to the glasses our actors use. I see. Thanks. Alright, the student in charge of props placed the wine glass. They were spotless at the time. Oh, it's just a water gun. There's a hole on top for adding water. That's the prop we used in our previous performance. You did a wonderful job. <laughs> yeah, I shot so many people. <laughs> Thanks. A water gun that looks like a real gun. There's a hole for adding water on top. What well, are they gonna? <laughs> I was gonna say like, oh yeah, they um, they shot the poison <laughs> from this gun. Okay, I guess I can press B. I could get more fluff text though. If uh, these people have anything interesting and unique to say. Oh, Yoshiko, Karin was poisoned. Was it because I? Hey. It's okay, it wasn't your fault. What it was what, what did you do? <laughs> what did you do, girl? <laughs> whisper, whisper. So sorry, I'm busy right now. Uh maybe I can help you later. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I guess she's not gonna talk to me. Let's just leave her alone. Okay, I guess I'm done here. Oh, Ew. I think that's about all the information I can gather while disguised as Yoshiko. All right, war in a time. People treat Yoshiko exactly like it was reputed. Everyone around her seems to trust her. That being said, Waruna and Kurane seem to think Yoshiko is the culprit. Oh, I doubt they shot it in there. We would see a wine splash. That's true, that's true. <laughs> Do they think she poisoned a rival to eliminate the competition? 
but I don't see her as someone who could kill. There was no info tying her to the murder, either. I think I need to disguise myself as another club member and gather more information. Getting addicted to drag, are you? I don't think you're about to win any races. Oh, damn. Let's watch uh, Yuma walk down the catwalk. Dunk, dunk, dunk. <laughs> Maybe the girl with the eye drops could just plop it in when the lights are off? Maybe. That's that's like just before Warna takes the plates or something, maybe? I can't remember. The accuracy would have to be perfect. They are Oh, and you're right, the gloss is very small. <laughs> um, teacher, do you have a moment? Oh, What's wrong? Are you feeling unwell? Excuse me for a minute. This student doesn't seem to be feeling well. How's the investigation going? Who do you want to disguise as next? Warina! Oh, they still give me the option for Kurune anyway. No. <laughs> I want to disguise as Waruna. Waruna. The other lead actress on stage. No, I kinda dig chicks who seem hard to get. Alright. Alrighty, time to turn you into just a cat. So creepy. <laughs> Perverts of the feather flock together. Just like cut his line off right now. <laughs> War in a secret. On the way home from Etheria Academy, she stops by the riverbank to give milk to stray cats. An activity she hasn't told anyone about. Oh my god! Warina and like Palara just like pet cats. Hurry <laughs> up with the investigation. I'm getting way more tired than I expected. If I stop concentrating, my disguise will wear off. All right, I'll make it quick. So please hold down the fort for just a bit longer. I'm counting on you. Warina is supposed to be feared by the other members. I hope I can still get some information from them. But. I better make sure I don't run into the real Waruna. Uh, Yoshiko is in the rest area. Yeah, I know. Waru Let's go! One last time. Do these people have different things to say? Uh. Oh, no. Okay. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> the way her hair, because it's such a distinct shape, has to move around. <laughs> it's so funny looking. Boing. <laughs> That's some good ass hairspray you got. Oh, hello. You say something different. Oh, Warna, did they let you go? So. Um, no, not yet. <sighs> Well, I hope they clear you soon. You like me... more than the other girls. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> Hungry student is dying right now. I can't believe something like this could happen in the middle of performance. I hope it's all solved quickly. But I don't even want to consider that Kurumi might be responsible. Yeah. Kurumi isn't the uh, culprit. I'll have to find evidence to prove it. It's not her! <laughs> not my little friend. Not my bestie. Hey. <laughs> I said hey. Damn, that's a loud breath. She hears me, but she's ignoring me. I knew they weren't on good terms, but I didn't expect the seemingly friendly Yoshiko to act this way toward her. Still, I need to get her to talk, or I won't find any clues. Hey, Yoshiko. Why are you ignoring me? <sighs> You're the one who told me not to speak to you. Huh? I did? It's unlike you to act like this. Are you nervous? Erm. Um. Anyways, stop talking to me. Go away. It's no use. Oh well. 
Hey, Waruna. Uh-oh. You handled that poisoning scene with Cotton really well. Huh? I don't want to see you around here again. Was that a compliment about Waruna's acting? She's like, oh, by the way, um, you know, you you did really well back there. You're you're a great actress. <laughs> no, there was some nuance. Let she indirectly accused Waruna of murdering Cotton. So Yoshiko believes Waruna killed Cotton during the duel of poisoned cups. Okay, I kind of like this. You know, I was thinking about the previous chapter, and it was like it seemed like. They were very clearly being like, okay, these people cannot be the culprit because of X and Y point. But in this chapter, it seemed to be like all of them could be suspicious. So that's nice. I, I like to see that. I'm a little worried though. I haven't seen any gaps and you guys mentioned that there is at least one. Uh, I was watching the play to kill time. Oh wait, I've seen this. Aww. All right, there is no way I can go in here. So what am I supposed to do? Oh. Oh, Warner was in this room. I should probably stay away while I have this disguise on. Uh, I'm pretty sure you just say the same thing. Let's take a break. What do you want? Can't you tell I'm trying to blend into the wall as best I can right now? Don't talk to me. Um, it's about what happened. I didn't expect you to bring it up. <sighs> Fine. There is something bothering me about it anyway. What's that? I watched the glasses get shuffled while I was above set. Wasn't it slower than usual? W was it? Why did you go so slowly? Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, I was just doing what I usually do. Uh-huh. Doing it like that makes it super obvious what you were trying to do, you know. Uh, uh-huh. Huh? And that is? <sighs> Whatever. Does she suspect something? Kurni thinks Waruna took advantage of the duel of poisoned cups to kill Cotton? Hmm. Alright, well, let, let me go take a look at my locker first. This locker has Waruna's name on it. It doesn't seem to be locked. Hmm. I'm surprised. I thought, um... <laughs> She's got like rock, danger, everyday music. Isn't Kurene the one that likes the the heavy metal choir? Or was it Why not? I can't remember anymore. Going through a high school girl's locker while claiming it's for an investigation is what a criminal would do. She seems kinda cool. I'm not a criminal, I'm a detective. Well, a trainee. It's crammed with music in theater magazines. Huh? Is this a diary? Ooh, a diary. But it's locked. I can't open it. I don't see a key. Then again, I don't really want to peek into a diary. Let's put it back for now. I don't think there are any other clues. I see. <laughs> Nobody else in this whole club has any individuality. <laughs> hey. Could we talk for a bit? <gasps> Warana! What's wrong? Um, well... She's really nervous around Waruna. Oh Maybe no! I push her a little to talk. <laughs> Don't bully her! You have to tell me if you notice something. Otherwise, I might get upset. S sorry Um, there was one thing I noticed. What was it? It's about Yoshiko. I wonder if she wasn't feeling well. Huh? Why do you say that? I watched from the audience and noticed Yoshiko arrived to the theater hall late. Yeah, I saw that too. Okay. 
let me think about this. So she came in at around 15 minutes, right? And Karin died at around 45 minutes. And they're saying that the, the poison has only 30 minutes before it's useless. So... Hmm... So that we're basically saying that Yoshiko probably is the one that brought the poison. Yoshiko always watches from beginning to end, even for the rehearsal performances. So she's the killer. <laughs> I wonder what could have changed that. But everyone's like suspecting each other, so it's like, okay. What did she do after arriving late? Maybe it's a little deeper than that. <laughs> Well, she sat near the right edge of the front row before the blackout. She was still there after the lights came on. She didn't leave her seat once. She looked rather restless throughout the play. That's the thing. She, she didn't leave her seat, though, so... Even if she did bring the poison in, like... How did it get on stage? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Right edge in the front row, and she looked restless. All right, Yoshiko is also what uh, always watches the plays beginning to end, but for this performance, she arrived late to the theater hall. said anything yet. Warana must be terrifying. At this rate, I doubt I can talk to them. Okay, and the last girl. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna guess you don't like me. <laughs> hey, can you talk right now? Oh, Warana. I I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a bit busy right now. <laughs> It's no use. She won't talk to me. She seems really afraid of Waruna. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm done here. How am I supposed to get into that makeup room? You're still not done. Do, 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 costume girl. Oh, um. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> She's ignoring me. Looks like they're not on good terms. <laughs> that was cute. Thanks, Shinigami. <laughs> oh, Waruna, I'm cleaning that right now. You'll get dirty. Um, I'd appreciate it if you could leave that alone. Oh, got it. Do you have anything to say to me? Oh, Waruna, what brings you here? Sorry, I I'm busy cleaning up right now. She's obviously afraid. Okay, I don't think there's much else I can do in here. That was cute, though. <laughs> Good job, Shirigami. Mm, how do I get into the room? Are you okay? The peacekeepers are so scary. I don't know what to do. I'm so worried. That's true. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Oh! It's the real Waruna. It'd be trouble if we ran into each other. I should hide. Is she heading to the restroom? <gasps> Go piss, girl! Ahem. This is just me talking aloud. But this may be an opportunity to slip into that makeup room. You might be right, but it'd be terrible if I'm caught. I'm just talking to myself again. 
But if you don't grow a pair, you'll never become a full-fledged detective. J shut up! I'm just considering my options. <laughs> Oops. Uh, okay. Out of the, the the girls, right? The four girls, there was Karin, Warina, um, Kurane, and Yoshiko. I kind of like um, Warina's design the most. I think she's the most distinct. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like her hair. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> Hey, back already? <laughs> yeah, I just had to pee. <laughs> yeah, I forgot something. Uh, where was it? Aww, I'm grooming uh, my tail. Cleanliness is next to godliness. It's like, um, I, uh, you know, forgot my pad. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's relatable. <laughs> that was such a shock, right? Who would have thought Cotton would die on stage? Even though I hated her, seeing her die right in front of me makes me regret badmouthing her. Yoshiko has to be the one who did it, don't you think? Yoshiko? What makes you think that? I thought you'd agree, Warna. Yoshiko is the only one who could do this. Hmm. She's fanatical about Aiko, though she thinks nobody noticed. Oh. Oh! She was Yuri's for Aiko! <laughs> Aiko? That was Kurumi's close friend who committed suicide six months ago. Which reminds me, we snuck into the school to seek out the truth behind Aiko's death to begin with. Maybe this incident has something to do with her death as well. Oh yeah, we haven't even checked out the scene of the crime for uh, Aiko. Yoshiko never shows her feelings, so who knows what she's thinking. But I'm sure Yoshiko hated Karen. Karen got to be the main lead ever since Aiko died after all. Yoshiko resented her, which led to today. Well, how's that for some expert reasoning? You're good at this. <laughs> um, so is it true that Yoshiko adored Aiko? Are you kidding me? Everyone could tell. It was that obvious. <laughs> it's like, they were so Yuri's. <laughs> it's like, oh! Warna, you're really dense when it comes to these things. But that's what makes you likable. Also... Didn't you need to go to the restroom? Yeah, one second. <laughs> I'm scared. I can't believe I watched someone die. What? Successfully? What? What just happened? <laughs> Restart the software to use this. What? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't know what that was for. Let me just save just to get. Okay, I cannot save right now. Never mind. <laughs> what was that for? What download? I wonder where did Karen's soul go? Was that the DLC? I I don't know. I I haven't paid for it. <laughs> the true culprit's soul is deep inside the mystery labyrinth. Only Kurane could do something this scary. Kurane. What makes you think it's her? Because I saw it. Ah, oh, I see an update. All right. Well, it's probably fine. I keep playing for now. Kurane stole Karen's script when it was left in the wings. Oh. Hmm. Huh? She ran off somewhere with the script. Isn't that suspicious? Kurane took Karen's script. What does it mean? Is there a secret involving her script? Barna, please stay by my side today. I'm so scared I could die. Oh my god, everyone has a Yuri girlfriend. Oh, uh, I'll think about it. I better get out of here. The real Warna might come back any second. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing! Thanks for talking to me. Anyway, I need to go to the restroom. See ya!
<laughs> that was super quick, Warna. Huh? Oh, we almost ran into each other. Oh yeah, the the light novel. I haven't. I I do have the download code. I just haven't even activated it yet. I wasn't planning to until I finished. It doesn't have an expiry date, does it? <laughs> that should be enough. What do you have to say? Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> hmm. Uh, alright. I think that's all the info I could get is Warona. I haven't missed a gab, have I? <laughs> People are afraid of her, so they don't really talk to her. But Yoshiko and Kurene both seem to suspect Warona. On the other hand, Warana's group of friends suspect Yoshiko and Kurene. Everyone suspects each other. Maybe everyone was on edge even before today's incident. But there's still no information that could lead me to the culprit yet. Hmm. I was able to gather more intel by disguising myself as those three, but... I still don't have any definitive evidence that proves who the culprit is. I won't get much further just thinking about it, so I should go to Desuhiko for now. Oh, it's coming up later, okay. So we're not done yet. <laughs> uh, the teacher... Culprit not among us... Um, excuse me. Where's the teacher who was here earlier? Oh. She wasn't feeling well and went to the administrative office. The same teacher keeps going back to the restroom, too. Maybe it's food poisoning. <laughs> uh, we will stop just before we enter the mystery labyrinth, I believe. I see. Thanks. The office? Because I want time. time like I want this. time in between for me to think about the whole case. And come up with my theory slideshow. D Desuhiko? What happened? Oh, he's normal again. <laughs> oh, it's you, Yuma. Sorry. I need a break. I started getting dizzy, so uh, I ran in here to get away from everyone. I try to retrieve my disguise tools, but I can't. I'm at my limit. I can't move. You're that fatigued? Yeah. Now that I think about it... This is the longest I've ever stayed in a disguise. Sorry for making you go through so much trouble. So, is he using his power right now to keep Yuma in disguise? Because, like, how the heck is Yuma changing his body? I don't worry about it, man. I got to lean on a girl's shoulder on the way here, so really, I should be thanking you. Okay, I never mind. Plenty of good stuff. Okay, the never mind. Talks, the less <laughs> likable he gets. So, how'd it go? Any trouble investigating? About that, I gathered some information, but I'm lacking something more definitive. Everyone has something suspicious about them, so I don't know who the culprit is yet. Speaking of which, the peacekeepers mentioned a past incident that happened at this school. A past incident? Yes, let me go investigate. You know, the one with Kurumi's best friend six months ago? The girl who fell from the school's roof and died. The peacekeepers want to pin Kurumi with a murder motive for that incident. They're gonna twist the truth into something that's convenient for them. At this rate, Kurumi will... You'll save her, won't you, hero? I'm... No hero. But if they want to distort the truth, then as a detective, I can't let it slide. <laughs> and that's how you see it? And you're already a hero, Yuma? There's still time if you hurry. Go and seek the truth that hasn't reared its head yet. I feel like Desuhiko's trying to be my wingman, but... <laughs> I appreciate that, Desuhiko. 
But how? But, uh, you know, we, we just met, <laughs> so... The guy snooping around about the first incident is a chubby peacekeeper. Get information out of him and figure out what they're trying to suppress. Hmm. They won't tell me so easily. Hold on. There is one way it could be possible. Disguise myself as Martina. Use Hilara's forte. Disguise myself as the chubby peacekeeper. <gasps> no. Oh my god. I get to be her! <laughs> That's it! I can get that information if I'm disguised as Martina, the Vice Director of the Peacekeepers! Oh my god. <laughs> Looks like you now understand the power of disguises. Well then, let's get started. On second thought... Sorry. I don't have any energy left to disguise you. Huh? I think I'll recover if I take a nap. What do I do? There's no time to wait for Desuhiko. I need to find Kurumi immediately. <laughs> He's literally dying right now. How does he help? <laughs> it's like, uh, you love my lost, my lost bit of energy. I give it to you. Oh. <laughs> It'll be too late if I wait until the peacekeepers end their investigation. Oh my god, wait, that means I get to hear Martina's voice a ton. Sheesh! <laughs> but I can't force Desuhiko to do a half-hearted disguise. It'd be way too dangerous with the peacekeepers. What am I supposed to do? Uh, Shinigami's like, you're stupid! Just, just copy his power! <laughs> Aren't you forgetting about a certain ability? Oh, that's right! Oh, oh my god! Finally, an O in the, like, right volume. Oh, that's right! It's not O! It's O! <laughs> Congratulations! But what? But don't yell out of nowhere, the peacekeepers will find us! Hey, Desuhiko, can you lend me a hand for a little while? It lend a hand? Yeah, I just need you to hold my hand for a bit. Are you serious? Right now, you're disguised like a girl. What if I start to have feelings? Okay. <laughs> Now's not the time for jokes! Hurry, please! Jeez, what's going on? What is this weird feeling? Is this... Love? Okay, my dude. <laughs> No! It's a long story, but it's the forte I gained in exchange for my memories. Just holding hands will allow me to use another person's forte. Huh. Uh, are you gonna question how I could even do that? Are you serious? You actually have a forte? Let me borrow your disguise tools. How does it look? Oh, sheesh! Wow! That's the perfect disguise! Did you really do this, Yuma? You never told me you had such an amazing power! I'm surprised there was a Peacekeeper uniform in your bag. You're so well prepared, Desuhiko. Coco Bolt? <laughs> that's such a... That's such a cute, um, ship name. <laughs> Wait, but... We're holding hands. How'd you put your arm through the sleeve? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, wait a second, logic. Wait, does that mean I have to hold his hand the entire time? Or... Like, can I, can I only use it when we're holding hands? That's why we have to hold hands with Talara all that time. Anyway, the disguise is over, so we can let go now. It won't fall apart? <laughs> okay, this, this is some like... <laughs> okay, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> you said a chubby peacekeeper was investigating the past incident? I'm going to go talk to him. And with that perfect disguise, there's so much more you can do. Okay, thank you. Right. You stay here and rest. 
I'll resume the investigation. I think that one just uh, flew over <laughs> uh, uh, Yuva's head. <laughs> Damn, look at me. Okay. Hi, everyone. We're gonna continue this Let's Play speaking like this right now. This is... <sighs> These are the pamphlets for performances at the theater club. They really go all out for this stuff. There are sections about today's show and the club members, but none that might be related to the case. Maybe I can find clues somewhere else. <laughs> It's me, Martina Electro. We. <laughs> you guys have anything what to say other to me? Spots are suspicious. Oh, okay. I guess I won't go this way. <laughs> How foolish of me. <laughs> good, good work, officer. All right, bye. <laughs> oh my God, she's got her like BGM on and everything. Karin dislikes the sounds and flashes of thunder and lightning, and is quick to hide in her room at the mere hint of rumbling. Aww. Okay, I will find a gab during this point. Alright, I will keep my eyes out. Thank you. Do not tell me unless I miss it. <laughs> Walk slowly in front of the camera. What other spots are suspicious? <laughs> uh, hello there. Hey. Uh, do you have a moment? I'm looking for the chubby guy. Chubby? Oh, I know who you mean. Sorry, I'm not sure where he is. I see. That's fine. Carry on. Alright, I... <laughs> hello. Oh, wow. The bathroom? <laughs> Sweet! I can explore the school now! Oh, probably not, actually. Are they gonna, like, bluff me off? First, I have to get the whole story from someone. Who would know the details of the incident? Oh, who would know the details of the incident? <laughs> I'm gonna do my best, guys, to keep up this voice. <laughs> Aww, I wish this would... Oh! Oh, I hear the voices of students inside the studio. Maybe I can get some information. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> it doesn't seem like the theater club uses the studio. I probably can't learn anything here. Oh well, that was useless. <laughs> Where is this? Oh, the multi-purpose room. For now. A multi-purpose room. It might be connected to the case in some way. Let's check it out. Okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's no environments behind this door, so... It seems to have gone unused for a while, so it's probably not related to investigation. Let's keep going. <laughs> a classroom? The pervert detectives roaming around! Oh! Oh, some dejected looking students are discussing something in class 1-1. They might have some information. Let's find out what they know. doesn't seem like they know anything about the case. Let's try somewhere else. Okay, am I... Am I allowed to go upstairs? Or... Downstairs here? Oh, I can! Hello? Hey. Hey, do you have a moment? I'm looking for someone. Vice Director Martino, who are you searching for? Oh! Uh, crap, I don't know his name. I need to phrase this carefully. The chubby one. You know, the one who investigated the incident here a little while back. Ah, him. Uh, he said he was heading to the gym. Um, I'm aware he's something of a handful, but could you at least remember his name? <laughs> no. <laughs> right, I'll think about it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why should I? The only name I need to remember is Yomi. Oh, uh, I love Yomi. Uh. <laughs> I was like, okay. 
Uh, I don't think I can go into the... Oh, hello! <laughs> Who are you? Are you looking at me? Mm. Oh, wow. This is the front entrance then. I wanna I wanna see how uh, Martina walks. <laughs> Do that again for me. <laughs> okay, uh look down. I see. The entrance has been designed to resemble a stairwell. Oh, since the incident, nobody's been able to come in or out. The students uh, around the entrance look uneasy. Yeah. I have to solve this case quickly and save Kurumi. <laughs> I don't think I can go upstairs anymore. Okay. Yep, I can't. But I can go downstairs from here. Okay. Let's just continue. <laughs> What door is this? Okay, I do not know. <laughs> Just a door. Well, this NPC is different. No, don't make me go back into the classroom. <laughs> I want to be out here, okay? I am a scientist. I am a man of the science. <laughs> uh, oh, chemistry lab. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, where do I have to go? To find the, the chubby one? The gym, right? You know. The chemistry prep room. It's possible something was taken out here. Uh, pardon me, Miss Machina. Do you still have business in the chemistry prep room? Hmm. Still, seems like she's already checked this place out, so I better not arouse suspicion. <laughs> No, I was just checking the lock. We don't want students getting in and making a mess. Keep an eye out and ensure there are no suspicious students. Yes, of course! <laughs> okay, uh, I guess I'm not allowed in there right now. Nope! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna guess the gym is on the first floor somewhere, so let's just go back down. Hello! Hello, Vice Director Martina. Is there anything I can do for you? Hey. Yes, actually, I need to do a little digging into a past incident. In that case, I think that man may have the documents you need. You know, the one you always get mad at for hovering around you, uh... I see. <laughs> always, huh? Do you know where he is? Well, I saw him outside the school building a while ago. He might still be around here somewhere. I see. I'll go have a look then. Let us go outside the school. Rank up. As expected of me. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can go into any of these classrooms. Nope. Alright, let's go outside then. Whee! Eh. Oh my god. There's so many people out here. Are you sure you have time to be taking detours? Yes. Vice Director Martino, what are you doing here? You. I am in need of the files for that past incident. Do you know who has them? No, I'm afraid I don't. I see. I'll ask someone else. Alright, let's go find the gym. <laughs> let's go to the gym? Gym? <laughs> Okay, anything here? Anything here? Is it you? This guy looks so suspicious. You there. Do you have a moment? Vice Director Martina! Is it time for my punishment? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> punishment? Anyway. Were you the one investigating the Ico case half a year ago? Y yes, that's correct. Is it time for my punishment? <laughs> Dude, this guy's so eager. <laughs> I need to confirm a few things. Can you tell me what you've discovered so far? Gladly. 
Aiko's body was discovered behind the school building in the flower bed after class. She was bleeding from an injury to her head. This is believed to be the cause of death. The body was not wearing shoes on either foot. The shoes were then discovered on the roof of the school building, set together neatly. This is why it was deemed a suicide via jumping off the roof. But she has like no other injuries on her body. Uh, uh, here is a photo from the scene. <laughs> Look at this photograph. Oh, sheesh. <laughs> Again, we've already said that that brick looks very suspicious. Oh, hello. Okay, her shoes... Her shoes have mud on them, though. So are they saying, like, oh, she was in the garden? <laughs> Clearly. Walking around there. Recently. Who first discovered the body? Let's see. It was a student named Cotton. Another theater club member. Ah, uh, really now? <laughs> huh? Cotton? <gasps> Ooh. Martina's pretty. I mean, she kind of looks like Pecco. Despair Pecco, so you know. <laughs> she heard something fall and went to check the flower bed. There she discovered Aiko on the ground. That is what she testified. Aiko was considered the star of the theater club, but apparently she worried about her future goals. And by the way, this is the last photo of Aiko prior to her death. We ripped out the the girls that were also in this photo. <laughs> so this is Aiko. After school, Aiko's body was found in the flower bed behind the school. The peacekeepers deemed it a suicide by uh, jumping off the wolf. 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 <laughs> the last photo of Aiko before her death. A photo of Yoshiko and Aiko. It appears the two of them were cut out from a larger photo. I see. Thank you for the report. Continue your investigation. Yes, ma'am. Oh, but what about my punishment? <laughs> it's like, please step on me. It's like, um, <laughs> um uh, be gone. <laughs> yes. What's with the punishment thing? <laughs> Is it punishment time? It's like, oh god. <laughs> anyway, I got what I came for. I should keep investigating. But where to go? <sighs> uh, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Cut it out! Why are you getting in the way of my investigation? Oh no, I didn't get to see the rest of the outside of the school. Oh wait, the chemistry lab. Besides, where would she even get poison from? Ms. Martina, this was discovered in the chemistry lab. That's right, the bottle of poison used in the murder was found there. Oh yeah, where is Martina right now? Anyway, might as well check it out. I didn't see the rest of the outside. Was there anything else to look at? Maybe there wasn't anything. <laughs> Let me know if there was a- OH! Wow, that is- <laughs> That is a very obvious <laughs> gab. Never mind. <laughs> that one was very obvious. Oh, this is for Lara. Um, we're not gonna do it right now, but uh, just asking: Is that the only one in this school, or is there more? Because I have not seen any others. Hanai Ward's highest welcome. Uh, Secret of the toys. Shattered home. Business. 
No, I don't think these are. <laughs> There's another one in the school? Okay, well, well, we'll just keep our eyes out in case. Hello. Vice Director. Miss Martina. Was there something insufficient about our investigation? Had you told me, I would have verified myself. Thank you for your diligence. Tell me, do you have the results from testing for poison? Yes, as I've reported to you already. The poison was only found on the victim's glass. I see. Only the victims? What about the bottle or the other glass? Oh, what happened to the audio on that line? <laughs> only the victims? What about the bottle or the other glass? None. No traces have been found on those. And as you've instructed, this information is currently being kept from the official report. I see. I see. <laughs> Good work. I see, I see. Poison was only on Cotton's glass? How was that possible? Poison was detected in the glass held by the victim, but the other glass had no such traces. No poison was detected in or on the wine bottle. Hmm. Oh, there's there's more people here. Oh, there's an eyedropper. <laughs> Maybe. Uh huh. Medicine bottle. Let's look at that first. This is the bottle of poison discovered by the peacekeepers that was used for the murder. They'd taken it out for the investigation. Did they put it back because they were done? The report mentioned the bottle's lid was unsealed. The bottle is too big to easily conceal. Taking this to the theater hall would attract attention. If that's the case, maybe its contents were poured into another container. Hmm. According to the label on this bottle, this chemical will react to oxygen in open air, rendering it harmless 30 minutes after the bottle is unsealed. Oh, there's a more detailed description about it here. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing! Once opened, oxidation cannot be stopped. Transferring to another sealed container will not prevent this process. Oh, wow. The poison from the chemistry lab, the bottle's lid was unsealed. You know, <laughs> the people who manufacture this poison, it's like, <laughs> you know, you only need a tiny bit to kill someone, so why would you store it in such a massive <laughs> bottle? All of it's gonna expire. How many people are you trying to kill at once? <laughs> a paintbrush on the floor. Wait, there's a paintbrush near the chemical shelf. The tip of the brush is wet. What is this? Okay, I... I noticed it! And I didn't want to say it, but I'm gonna say it. <laughs> when uh, Martina was like kneeling down, I realized she's wearing thigh highs. It's not like full stockings. <laughs> I see. Wait, can you see like a leg slit or something in her in her dress maybe? Cuz it looks like stockings, but when she was bending down, I saw some leggy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Their eyedroppers used in the lab, but these still look new. An eyedropper typically used in science experiments. It doesn't appear to have been used. Hmm. There's probably not much else that can be checked in the chemistry lab, but it sure is good for Tina. The peacekeepers keep telling me everything. I should have taken this disguise from the start. Maybe I should keep investigating in this form. Hmm, what else should I look at? Uh, again? 
Shinigami's like so reluctantly trying to help. It's like, God damn it, Yuma. <laughs> Fine, I'll tell you the answer. I'm grateful doing this for some girl. <laughs> what about me? What about my needs, huh, Yuma? <laughs> the staff room? I think I already checked everything in there. Martino with a chain at her neck. You know what? Probably something she does do anyway with uh, Yomi. <laughs> no, I didn't check everything. There were lockers I haven't searched yet. Oh, we're gonna look in um, Karin's locker? Now that I'm disguised as Martina, I could look through everything. It's like, you can think of me later. Are they gonna say different things to me? I don't know anything. I really don't. Please, I'm begging you to believe me. <laughs> I guess she's too scared to talk when I look like this. I should leave her alone for now. Okay, you know what? I, I think I should look at the locker first. Although it does seem to be the only thing I'm supposed to do. <sighs> no. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> All right, ladies. Hey. Tell me what you know. Could I have a word with you? I'd like you to tell me what you saw during the play. Sh sure. Uh, all I know is this. Hmm. Nothing I haven't already heard, huh? Thank you. Stay in this room until instructed otherwise. Uh, understood. Can I look at the... Oh, wait. Is there going to be a bug again if I look in this locker? <laughs> Let me just uh, do a quick save. Yoshiko's locker. It seems like nothing noteworthy in here. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> Hello. Do you have a moment? Does anything stand out about what happened? N nothing in particular. <laughs> All the new and update icons on the menu, please kick, uh, click them. Oh, fine. <laughs> Wait, can I look at the profiles now? Oh, there's way too many in here. <laughs> you can never remove the glossary new icon for some reason. Really? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I don't need to look at this one. I want to look at Karin's locker. It's a club locker. Karin's name tag is on it. I have to open this for the investigation. Do you understand? Huh? I I yes. Huh? There's something on the floor. It's the script for the play. Cotton's name is written on the cover. There are tons of handwritten notes. A lot of effort was clearly put into this. Hmm? There's something written in red at the Duel of Poisoned Cup scene. Take the glass the spotlight hits first. Cotton must have written this. The handwriting is the same as the rest. Hmm, so she was... She was a dedicated actress. Interesting. Hmm. She definitely looked away just now. Hmm. Whisper, whisper. Hey. Do you girls have a moment? Yeah, oh, what? What is it? 
I'd like to know if anything about this incident has stuck out for you. Even the small things would help. S stuck out? Um... So maybe she's the culprit? At least that's what I think. Hmm. It's the same as what I heard earlier. Thank you. Stay in this room for now. Also, you might want to refrain from whispering. But right! I'm sorry. Hmm. Um, this girl. You. Do you have a moment? I'd like you to tell me what you know about the incident. Uh, alright. And that's all. Hmm. Nothing seems to conflict with what I already know. Thank you for your cooperation. Stay in this room until instructed otherwise. Uh, okay. Um. I don't think I can do anything else in here. Time for a little break. Unless I'm supposed to look in the lock. Uh, the the diary. It's a club locker. Warren's name tag is on it. I have to open this for the investigation. Do you understand? Huh? Uh, yes? Oh, right. This diary has a lock on it. I feel bad about reading someone's diary, but I need as many clues as I can get my hands on. The way that diary just like floated out of the locker. <laughs> you there. Can you call over the student named Waruna? Huh? Waruna? Sure. Are we gonna invade her privacy what right now? What do you want with me? Can you open this lock? That's my diary! How did you get that? That has nothing to do with what happened! Uh, I'll be the judge of that. pains me to do this, but it might lead to a clue. I have no choice. Isn't this what a detective would do? There's no need for emotions to solve a case, right? I understand. Here's the key. I'll give it back right away. Don't worry. I just need to know if you were planning for murder. Uh, oh, hello. What's this photo? I see. Here, you can have it back. Sorry, I can't read. <laughs> I can only look at the photo. <laughs> I see. A photo of Warna and Aiko. It appears the two of them were cut out from a larger photo. <laughs> can't we just take selfies with uh, Aiko on our own? <laughs> Ace locker. Seems like there's nothing noteworthy in there. Mm, okay, am I done here? <sighs> no. Wait, what? There's still more? What am I missing? Do you have a moment? Are you the one who shoved Cotton's script into our locker? Oh, okay. About. I have an eyewitness account of you taking Cotton's script. <gasps> Are you hiding something? If you keep hiding it, you'll be sorry later on. What did she say? Are you hiding something? If you keep hiding it, you'll be sorry later on. The way she pronounced keep. <laughs> if you keep hiding it. <laughs> Are you hiding something? If you keep hiding it, you'll... Keep. <laughs> Is the stream lagging? No. Ah, uh, damn. Um, uh, should I disconnect the internet one more time? I'm really sorry about all the internet connection issues. It's not lagging anymore. Okay. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> Don't tell me you're also hiding the chemical used in the murder. I swear! She's definitely hiding something, but I don't think I can get anything out of her. 
You should pat her down and search her. Huh? A detective must suspect everything. You get to fondle a high school girl. Okay, Being no what? The pervert you are, you'd be killing two birds with one stone. No, 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 no. Hey, you. Check Karune's body to see if she's hiding something. Oh, thank goodness. Me? Wouldn't it be better for the peacekeepers to do their own investigation? But that would uh, cause some problems. Just do as I say. Uh, I'm on it. Cheapos for me. Oh, there's something in her pocket. Th that's a notebook. Is this a scrapbook? There are magazine and newspaper clippings in it. And all the articles are... Related to Aiko? On another page, there's a small clipping of an article about Aiko's suicide. Damn, everyone is obsessed with Aiko. Was she collecting everything there is about Aiko? Wait, is that... Oh my god! <laughs> You were all besties! <laughs> hey, where's she going? No, it's fine. Huh? R really? A scrapbook owned by Kurene. There are magazines and newspaper clippings pasted in it. A photo of Kurene and Aiko. It appears the two of them were cut out from a larger photo. Alright, that's enough investigating in this form. I should revert to my normal self. It'll get increasingly harder to investigate like this. Oh no, I couldn't talk to any other NPCs. <laughs> Forcibly exposing secrets isn't an investigation. It's just coercion. <sighs> You're such a naive softy. Alright, let's go back to Desuhiko. We're done! Oh, sweet. I still get to, like, uh, leave. <laughs> um, was there something else you needed? No. There is nothing I need to ask this student. No, it's nothing. Stop gossiping. <laughs> uh, I was so scared. No. <laughs> They're afraid of Martina. There's nothing more I can get out of them. Um, is there something else? No. There's nothing I need to ask this student. No, it's nothing. What about you? No. How could this happen? Sweet! I do get to talk to people. I'll head back to Desuhiko for now. No! I'll head back to Desuhiko for now. Oh man. Alright. Do you have anything to say? Oh, hello. You're the big shot peacekeeper, right? Is the investigation going well? I'm in the same class as Kurene. I don't think she's the culprit. You. I see. I'll keep that in mind. You're a good friend. <laughs> oh. Where is it? Where's Yoshiko? I'll head back to Desuhiko for now. Where'd she go? Oh, okay. Maybe they forgot to put her there. <laughs> uh, have you learned anything about the culprit? I can't imagine it's Kurumi. You. Hmm. Please help Kurumi, Yoshiko, and the others. You don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Excuse me, can we leave yet? Hey. I apologize, but the case hasn't been resolved. R right, uh, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry, I could, e I could eat a horse. <laughs> you know those memes, it's like, I'm so hungry, it's like, the horse turns to the camera. How hungry? <laughs> what are you? Oh, a peacekeeper. Um, can I help you with something? 
I think I told you everything I know. Hey. I see, that's fine. Just keep quiet and don't do anything strange. Sup? <laughs> okay. Oh, can I go? Can I go back into the the hole? Not this way. Oh, okay. Fine. Let's go see Desahiko. Hello, bro. What's up, my man? I'm back. <laughs> Are you being good? <laughs> huh? Uh... Hey, don't come back here right now. <laughs> Oopsie. Another elegant and highly intelligent beauty. What a surprise. Although it appears you were unable to copy what is in my head. Put your hands up! Oh! <laughs> uh oh! <laughs> Sheesh, let me get a screech out of that. <laughs> you must be the suspicious person wandering around the crime scene. I received word of you lurking about, and here we are. Who are you? Oh my god. <laughs> Bad. What do I do? At this rate, both of us will be captured. <laughs> it's like that one Spider-Man meme. <laughs> Looks like you gotta surrender. And that's what you get for getting carried away. Wait a second. This is just like that, um, don't trust anybody, not even yourself. <laughs> meme. Alright. <laughs> Although, if you apologize to me sincerely, I just might... Help! Somebody! What? What are you screaming for? W what are you? Oh! Oh my God! Two of them! The monster is right here. She's carrying a weapon. Ah! Oh, twins! <laughs> Does this count as twins? <laughs> Where <Poor> out, Bingo? <laughs> I don't think so, but that's pretty funny. <laughs> My imposter! Oh no! Hold on! That's the imposter! <laughs> She's the imposter! Huh? What? <laughs> They're like, what in the world? This teacher and I will evacuate the premises. Eliminate that threat at once! How do we. <laughs> hey! Now what do we do? Oh my god, that worked! <laughs> do you think that far ahead? Let's, uh, go this way. Why would you go that way? Run outside the school. <laughs> Let's go, bestie! What are we stupid? Why'd we run further into the school? As I suspected, you can't. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn. What? <well, laughs> damn. All right. <laughs> Just one second, guys. <laughs> Help! <laughs> oh God! Hostage! <laughs> guys, guys, you gotta help me! Ah! <laughs> She, she, she's right behind me, isn't she? Oh. <laughs> 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 I, I swear, I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, face forward. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I just think that's funny. <laughs> she's gonna shoot. <laughs> Copy what's in my head after all. Now reveal your true identity, otherwise you will be shocked. Oh my god. <gasps> Damn. What? What's going on? Huh? 
Why is our teacher... Bless... If there are two of the same peacekeeper? What is happening? Okay. <laughs> so if we come out of the... Um... <laughs> mystery Labyrinth... Eventually... Is like one of them just gonna die again? <laughs> right in front of us? <laughs> come on, guys. <laughs> Hey, Kurumi! You're still here! Yuma? You're still alive! <laughs> Yoshiko, Waruna, Kurune, Kurumi too. I was so close. I almost figured out who the true culprit is. Now hurry it up. I won't give you a countdown before I pull the trigger. Wait! wait. I'll do as you say. Yaku's gonna be so pissed. Sorry, Dad. I didn't get you your meat bun, and we're uh, we're in trouble again. <laughs> oh my God! Did you see the thigh peeking out? Oh my goodness! Wait, did I not notice before? She has like a slit in her her skirt. You can see her thigh. Sheesh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sup guys. <laughs> Uh, ah! A man? You lot. I see. Detectives from the Nocturnal Detective Agency. <laughs> In that case. Oh. Yeah, give me the. Give me your evil. <laughs> Damn, she's so hot, though. <laughs> Mm -mm. All right, woman. <laughs> I I love my woman's wrongs. My woman wrongs. We gotta support them. <laughs> you can both be disposed of right here and now. Yeah. What? Kill him. <laughs> yeah. I've got no choice. What are you doing? Get out of here, Yuma. Yes, he go. Have. You got mad? Do you realize what happened? Sorry, give me a sec. Uh, my mom's knocking on the door. <laughs> Uh, hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> what a, what a frame <laughs> to um, post on. <laughs> Sorry about that. We'll, we'll, we'll take a commemorative uh, screenshot. <laughs> you will regret this in hell. Oh my god. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> Videos cannot be captured. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everybody, take it. <laughs> uh, this, this is for my own personal use, actually. <laughs> Alright, thank you, everybody, for uh, cooperating with me. Um, <laughs> oh, damn. Shinigami, please help me. If I have to. <laughs> Did he just say that out loud? Where everyone could hear him? <laughs> Let's go. Whee! Again, this is so cute every time. <laughs> Yeah! Are you guys impressed? 
<laughs> I did not say boobies this time. <laughs> wow, what what a um uh... <laughs> Hey guys, are you wondering how I got to, to this position? Well, here's my story. <laughs> Sweet, so Desuhiko can uh, join us this time. In the mystery labyrinth. Ah, I did it without thinking. He didn't even get on his knees or anything. Um, well. Thanks, Shinigami. You saved me. Yeah, I did. Don't mention it. <laughs> I'm compelled to help when people need me. Whoa! <laughs> What's this? What's going on? Oh my god, is he gonna fall in love it's with like her? We got an unwanted in here. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> More importantly, where do you live? What are your hobbies? <laughs> what do you think of me? Ew! Oh, would you look at that? We have a punching bag! Whoa! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Down the rabbit hole we go! Whee! That was cute. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we're going to end it here for today. <laughs> oh, that was fun. I liked that investigation way more than um the other one. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just save over this one. That was really fun. <laughs> um... Before we uh, end the stream, I kind of want to look into my album. <laughs> How many screenshots did I take of her, like, pointing a gun at us? Mmm. <laughs> my beautiful collection of uh, Martina. Sheesh! <laughs> So funny. All right. <laughs> Posting and editing. Wait, I can post this to Twitter or something. <laughs> uh. <laughs> my my very cute uh, gallery of images. I have so much fun collecting all my favorite moments <laughs> of uh, every chapter. <laughs> this one's my personal favorite. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> so funny. Okay. Anyway, I guess uh, with that, we'll uh, we'll uh, leave we'll leave it at that for today. Hehe. <laughs> um, hide. How do I hide? Sweet. All right. Thank you, everyone, for coming to the stream. Uh, today. Um, <laughs> you know. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying this case a lot. I think it's really fun. The investigation portion was also fun. Um, like, the mechanic of it all. And, uh, I thought that was very, very, very fun. And, um, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be thinking about this case, uh, before the next stream. Just to, like, think what my theories are. Um, all of them seem a little suspicious. But maybe it's, like, you know, red herrings and stuff. And one of them... Because, like, clearly... Clearly, um, they they all have some sort of connection to Aiko. Uh, my guess is that Karen or Karen is the one that killed Aiko because she's the one that found the body and everything like that. Uh, but I don't know if it was like, how do I say, like a <laughs> accident.
accidental kill or something, maybe? Well, I don't know how how much murder can be accidental, especially if you're, like, picking up a brick <laughs> to, like, bonk her in the head. But, like, at least uh, Karen does seem like she is very dedicated to acting with all the notes in her script and everything. So, I don't know. The performance was fun, too. Um, and the death was very, very dramatic. Uh, I'm looking forward to the mystery labyrinth and seeing more of Martina. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I'm so glad that we could uh, act like her for a little bit. That was fun. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll see you guys. And uh, if you want to leave a little commentary or whatever on the video, uh, I will probably continue this game in maybe a couple of days. So, I'll see you then. Alright, thank you everybody as well for, you know, you know, uh, tolerating the internet connections. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> bye bye. I'll be curious to see if you guys have any theories in the comments. All right. Bye. Uh <laughs>